All right, we're here. We're not on YouTube. We're in Manhattan. We have no Dave Portnoy. The Celtics were playing in Miami last night, so he had to, he's not here till later today, so I wasn't going to wait for that. Uh, Dan will be here at some point. Rico, I think, might be here. Kevin's going to be here in a few minutes, so uh, much to discuss. I'm tired. You're probably more tired than I am. Two what time did the show end last night? I think it ended at like 11.30, maybe. Okay, how was it? Got home at 12.45. Yeah. Slept for an hour and a half and then got out of there. Unbelievable show. Yeah. Unbelievable performer. Yeah. yeah. How was the uh, How was the scene? Uh, I would say 99% female, 1% male, who were probably bringing their children to the concert. But uh, Yeah, good uh, yeah. diversity, too. Good diversity, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All I saw on Facebook was a bunch of rich people bringing their kids to the show. That yes. Was, that, looked like that was it. Yes. That's it was like was three like. hours? Three hours. She must have performed like 35 songs. That's what they said, like 40 songs. That's crazy. Well, that's good. That's crazy. So you enjoyed it? Exhausting. Yeah, but it was good. Yeah. And you have to sit in that traffic. Uh, we sat in a little bit. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. blocked off some streets to get to my house. <clears throat> but besides that, we, it was easier than other people. I heard horror stories of people not getting home until like 5 o'clock that. in the morning. So. And you being here is a total waste of time. Oh, yeah. I Especially, mean, complete yeah. waste of time. Though, I mean, we reserved this room. If I wasn't here, I, nobody would have been here at 930. Yeah. Well, no one's... I, I don't... So the trivia start. I think is just started. It's about to start. I don't know what's... I never know what's going on when I'm here. Yeah. Um, a couple of weird... Th- so I went back there, talked to some people. Uh, Jeff was getting ready for the first match. I play in a few hours. If I win, we play again tomorrow. Um, well, I don't want... I, I don't want to give... Any, I don't give an announce yet. So I don't want to give it anyway. Something annoyed me. So I... I but I don't want to spoil it because there are people I like who are putting work into it. So <laughs> when it gets announced, which should be soon. Something annoyed you about the dozen? No, not the dozen. Oh. Not, something else. Okay. Um, uh, eh, I like these people, so I don't want to. I don't want to fuck them over. So I won't yet. But it's always weird. When we're, I, I don't know. We're, I, it's such a weird place. It's so oddly cold. Like the, I have no idea what to do. Ever when I'm here, I don't yeah. want to sit. I don't know who to talk to. Yep. I don't know where to stand. I don't know where to kill time. I don't even know where to like go get lunch. I know nothing. I I feel so out of my element here. You drove in the city, which I think is like. Herculean. I could never do that. I, I couldn't figure that. out what train. I just fundamentally couldn't figure out what to do. What do you mean you couldn't figure it out? Like, I didn't know to do Bridgeport, Stamford. Uh, uh, I didn't know where Greenwich... I didn't even know Greenwich was an option. The Greenwich uh, is an option. Yeah, I wish I knew that. But. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, and then you're just going to head out to you after? Yeah, probably. I'll stay for the dozen, see if anything happens there. If you want to record anything, we're around, but... Yeah, maybe we will. Everybody's nice, but they... like oh, yeah, You feel nice. like you're such an inconvenience. Everyone just seems to remind... It's, it reminds me, like, the guy who was in here seemed nice. Yes. But he hated us in Arizona, too. Oh, he did? Yeah, he's one of the people that hated us. He's one of these guys who reminds me of a radio guy who's, like, always annoyed. Like, yes. I'm like, what are you annoyed about? Like, we booked it. I don't know. <laughs> but, of course, I walk in there, and you're like, I don't know what to do. So, I don't well, know. Well, this is, like, this is madness. I don't understand that. Yeah. Why is it madness? So, w- w- describe what you're talking about. I mean, not- look at this, like, video card. That it's like a monster card. I have seen I just, this I was talking to Hank though. for a while. Yeah. Who's, who's in, kind of annoyed me. Is... Would he have been able to walk you through this? Oh, in a second. Oh, I yeah, brought, I would have brought him over. Yeah, I didn't yeah. Know. Okay. So what's the? What, 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 you look nervous right now. You're about to touch something that you didn't. I just don't want to fuck anything up. Think this, this podcast will go up today? Yeah, I think it will. I think okay. it will. Yeah, but it's just. I mean, we reserved the room. Mm-hmm. They know. Why do you have headphones on? I just like to hear. Okay. I have to hear that. Song. But uh, they know we don't know what we're doing when we come here because we've never use this stuff before right so i just would have thought that somebody would have been here yeah, but they don't care i don't mean this in a bad way yeah but what the fuck do they care about this if we get which this is podcast up, right? fine yeah it's just a weird yeah whatever well was that an issue last time um we didn't i don't believe we did we record the podcast here last time i yeah. don't believe i've ever recorded a oh podcast i did here. i was here uh uh, with, uh that was nick, like mike fowler nick produced it okay uh fazoli because it was me rico it was i played clever's team Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't yeah. see. I don't think he's here. Did you, did you see him? I haven't seen anybody. Okay. No, oh, you just walked right in here. I was. I was Everyone's over so. there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I saw all the stars are here. Kelly Keegs, who I didn't speak to. She was getting ready to play Dante. He looked banged up. Uh, Jeff, I talked to her for a few minutes. He was very worried last night about those shirts. I don't quite know what the shirt situation is. Uh, uh, Hank, like I said, Smitty. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. So I, I don't know. Um, but I'm nervous. I want to win this game. To, I have to win this game today. This is my this is my chief concern: is winning this game today. And then if I win, a load is off. Whatever house money after that. But uh, and if we win, I think we play the winner of 
we'll play Frank's team if they win. Yep. Tomorrow, which okay. would be a good matchup. All I right. think. I don't know. So. Do you like the fact that you're playing in front of the entire office? I'm not really. Yeah, yeah really. it doesn't matter. I don't, I, I don't think this office is going to be like the way this place works. I don't think it's like 80 people. Right. Why? There's just always 50. No, that's minutes. when they get in. Like, you're playing at what, 1 o'clock, you think? That's Somewhere true. I know. I just texted Rico. He's like, yeah, I'm running late. I'm, I'll probably get in toward the end of when you're taping. Like, it's like 11 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, what do these people do all day? I don't know. Clark, I bet you Clemmer's here because he's a worker, I would think. Uh, don't you think? He's probably. I here. think he was at the Mets game I saw yesterday, I believe. So. That must have been during the day, though. They have like season tickets to the Mets. They all fucking go to every single game. They just get a box. They probably do, right? Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Um,. What else is going on in our world? Anything? Well, have you seen that Big A stuff? Mutt's friend there? Yes. What's going know, on I, with that I don't guy? know, but I had is multiple he, people reach out to me. Is he like, is, is he, oh, we can't call Mutt, right? No. No. You can't call him your have phone. To do like, we would have to do like speaker phone to the mic, which would be shitty. Well, me here. I don't care how shitty. Yeah. All right. Well, can I hear my headphones here? Is these mine? Uh, yeah, you yeah, might. Yeah, mine. Okay. Let's call, let's, I'll be curious. Because what, so he was going after... Is he threatening to beat up some of these mom or something? I heard a physical altercation might have actually taken place. This guy's a lunatic. Behind the scenes. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that sounds great. This is old. Can you hear it in your headphones? Yeah, it's... Oh. Which leads further to the AOL, the scam. That's why he's not answering. It's Monday. But he, he's got no excuse not to answer. Right? None. Zero. We'll see if he calls back. Yeah. So, exactly. so walk me through. Yeah. So I just saw that he's the really fat guy that the picture was floating around. Yes, he was so, the one who was doing the event before the Kentucky Derby. That so what So what happened? So I just heard that he got in an altercation at the, what is it, the New York Racing Association at the facility. He's uh-huh. like a television host or whatever. He got into some kind of altercation with whether it be another worker or a trainer on site he appears to be in the wrong because I must have got five DMs from people that worked at the facility oh, saying really? he's an asshole. So what yeah. happened? And he I can't go back. Like he can't. Or he's go. banned. Yes, so he's he'll be trespassing if he shows up at the. So at the he, track. it was more than threatening. You're hearing he was physical. Uh, I heard. <laughs> really? That was just one rumor. A? Rumor. Yeah, that was yeah, one I rumor. I yeah, understand. I can't confirm that at this moment. Yeah. So so to who? Uh, I just assume somebody who works at the New York, New York Racing Association. Why? Yeah. I just think he's a hothead, probably. Yes. It's a tough time for the horse racing industry. They're just putting out <laughs> another horse. death this another weekend. Another this weekend. <laughs> it's crazy. And, 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 and this guy, what was his? He was like a television host. He was like the main. I think it was kind of like Mutt, like a big deal version of Mutt at, at the New York Racing uh, track there, or the Racing Association. Okay. So, yeah. Hmm. yeah. So we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah. Now, what else? Yeah. Um, I don't think anything from the world per se. No. I don't think your picks were oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, what a brutal. <laughs> even week. some last minute ones that didn't necessarily pay. Oh, even worse. <laughs> yeah. I had Hovland plus seven fifty to lead after that second round. Yeah. I almost had them win. Eric Cole did hit top thirty. That was it. It was a bloodbath. Yeah. It was an absolute disaster. It was zone. fun to watch. Oh, look who it is. What's that? It was fun to watch though, the tournament. Hard yeah, course. Uh, term was fine. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't I don't uh but I think I think I made like thirteen or fourteen picks. I think I hit two. <laughs> I'm almost plus seven fifty. I'm not saying, but I mean it was. Yeah. Uh, do you want game. me to? Do you want me to talk to the PGA and try to get that shot back? Are you recycling? T- jokes? I'm not. I'm just. <laughs> I feel bad. I don't want to win that way. <laughs> yeah, I didn't right. want to win that way. Sixty five grand. Yeah, sixty three. Sixty three. Congratulations. Thank you. That's great. Thank I you. forgot this new studio. I should have worn a sweatshirt. So fat in these seats. No, but we're not even. We're like we're barely recording. We don't know what's happening. We, we're, 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 we're not even. They, they hate us. Like, they just hate us. Nobody hates us. They hate us. No, don't see any sound like me. Don't don't. I I nobody think, ca- nobody cares. Nobody should care when we come in and re- like it shouldn't be the. I always I, I I as I've matured in life, I now understand that not everything revolves around me coming into Barcelona Sports and taping a podcast here for an hour and a half. But. Maybe a little bit of love, but I think what happens is when you come in here and there's something big production going on, it's just all hands on deck. Yeah, they knew that. we were coming. Yeah. I should have yeah, I I is... given them a heads up. That's on me. No, I should have no, 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 been, booked, been, I been like it? the boots on the ground, you know, like hey, the, the you, infantry what before. What are you before. No, you the general being, comes like, in. You're, you work for this company. Yeah. You have ads that run that make the company money. We have to record The check's clear, baby. What am I going to do? I like that Kirk is low maintenance. 
You have to say that. All kidding aside, I am low maintenance. You are. Very you're low, the, very you're the definition of low you think you, Are you being sarcastic? No, you're very low maintenance. Just show up. I, whatever. I, what, 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 I know, but if we have to record a the podcast. The podcast is on. What would you like them to do? Would you like them to all be here watching? Would you like a director of photography? All right, you, a fucking cinematographer? you want Hans Zimmer? This is not a statement. This is not a statement about me. This is not a statement about me. I do not have to be here today. To your point, but if I wasn't, you're not doing this right now. Probably not. until he walks I would get in. Hank until he, he walks. I I, you could always day. ask me. I'd help. I always help when you guys ask. To do what? You would do? You'd set the board? No, I'd tell someone else. Well, I, saw, yeah. I, I just told <laughs> you. Okay, I, so you would go run. I saw Hank, Hank this morning. Yep. I would run to him. I saw him, and I, I probably would have said, hey. "Hank probably would have been a better play. That would have been a great play." I went to the production control room, which seems like the right. Hank's play. too busy selling me out, which I can't get to because. Wait, he sold you out? Well, he's minimizing me, which is oh, with the mini golf. Not the mini golf. There's another event that I don't think has been made. Possible. I have a question before. I want to hear about this Hank minimizing you. I thought I was going to walk in, and Quiggs and Rico were going to be here. Where are your guys? So I, so let me Today's talk. a Uh-oh. pretty big Uh-oh. day. I, 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 was, I, I, I was convinced that at least Rico Bosco would be sitting in this seat. I beat both of them in here. I texted, That's sad. I texted Rico. So first of all, I sent a team text yesterday afternoon, Okay. Uh, which Jeff is on. I said, guys, we're within 12 hours now. I want eight hours sleep. No more drinking. No drugs. No impure thoughts. You're basically doing the, the, the room check. Yeah, at the hotel. Get correct. Yeah. Get a response from uh 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 Bosco. No, Quicks. Quicks, Quicks. Quicks. <laughs> there's, a, there's a 50-50 Quigsy. chance here. Quicks. <laughs> we did a great job with the uh producing the uh, thing at the live show. Quicks <laughs> right away. Got it, boss. Jeff D. Lowe sends me a text oh, no. saying, "Hey, uh no problem. Uh, not no problem. No. He can he's like, "Yeah, it looks like 1:30 tomorrow." Crickets from uh from my guy. So I texted him this morning. And said, hey, just so you know, we're taping here. He's like, oh, I got in the bus late. I'm probably going to get here back there around 11 o'clock. Oh, my God. Is this, remember the, um, what's the guy's name? Barrett, maybe something, the, the Raiders Barrett player? Barrett Robbins. Yes, who went to Mexico right before the I'm Super Bowl. I'm thinking more like Eugene Robinson. He, or that, yeah, <laughs> Ray Carew. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, but, <laughs> yeah, this is right before the biggest game. This is, this is what I'm saying. And he's I, going to Mexico and, and blowing off steam, and you don't know he's coming back. I'm taking the good luck of today. Other, I'm not wearing golf shoes. Same socks, same underwear, same shorts, same crisp white shirt that I wore to Augusta when Freddie shot 71. Wow. This is a good luck outfit. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. So, so I am wearing that outfit because I want to win this game today. I should have worn the same golf shoes, but I didn't. I, I'm nervous for you. Like, no, I actually you, know, you, you've, you You have in your own way. No. Yeah, you have. You've you have played a role in getting into Rico's head. Again, we're doing this all over That's again. That's not true. That's it's, not true. That's, that's not true. true. I said that he's got to feel a little bit of pressure, which he pressure makes diamonds, right? Isn't that the saying? I think RG3 said that. One of the greatest <laughs> philosophers of our time. Would you give back your mini golf championship to win the no, whole tournament? No, 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 no. If I lose today, I am giving back my mini golf championship. Oh. Dave can have it. I am I am relinquishing Dave my Dave Portnoy. Yeah, he finished second. Though. Okay. I am, I am, so we can so win So you're something. basically retiring from all Barstool Sports competitions at that point. I'm not saying yeah. I'm going to retire from the trivia yet if I lose today. It is, uh, we'll see how the other guys play on the team. I may blow up the team and just play completely by myself next year. Okay, so who's going to be your, like, Ed Werder or, uh, what was it, Roger Kosick, the guy who stood out outside of Brett Favre's uh, house every year. Oh, Pedro in Gomez with Barry yeah, Bonds? Yeah, who's going to be that for you every year when you when we get to training camp and it's like, well, reports out of Kirk Minahan's camp says he's not he, – he feels like he's got some years left. Yep. It's a good question. Uh, I don't know. I, who's, who's kind of outside the box? Who's a quirky news guy? Who, who could mm. I use? He needs mm. someone good. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't yeah. know. I, I get to think it's about it. Just that. on the Kirk Minahan scoop, and every every year we know it just leads to you. I think, we're gonna, I think, we're, I think we're going to lose today. I don't think you I'm know, getting so. no good. Like I don't know where two game one. Like, who's your first matchup? Uh, macro dosing. The, the, the opponent is irrelevant. We're our own opponent. Like, Are you considering true. throwing the game so you don't have to come back tomorrow? No, no, no. I want to win. I want to win this more than I don't want to be in New York City. Okay. Did you book a uh, train kind of like Michael Block, who I know you're a big blockhead? Yeah. Uh, kind of like Michael Block. <laughs> Anything more annoying than him? Uh, Rory, hey Rory, to go I in. Text- Rory, Rory, go in. To go in. To go in. To go in. Text- yeah, Rory ran 40 yards and hugged you, shithead. And the crowd's going nuts. No, you hit it to eight feet. Shut the fuck up. I was, I was. Texting oh yeah, I'm, I'm a, I'm a club pro. Yeah, yeah. I do two lessons a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not a club pro. I mean, congratulations. You play well. You finish 15. I'm very happy for you. Very nice moment. I wanted to vomit when I was watching him <laughs> yesterday. Enough, 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 enough. You don't clean shoes. You don't write. You don't see the, the fucking hand the cards out. You're not giving Peter Ben the hand lessons from 26 handicap to a 22 handicap. 
He's like, yeah, the biggest, most money I ever made playing golf was $75,000. Yeah, that was a good amount of money. Sounds pretty fucking good to me, Mike. <laughs> yeah. It's his 20th PGA event. <laughs> he, uh, I was texting with Kirk in the afternoon when I was trying to be gracious about Brooks, you know, being a champion. And Kirk was like, the only thing I hate more than, like, Hovland right now is that stupid idiot Michael Block. <laughs> while, you know? the, while the broadcast is gushing over him being like a Hollywood story. I did think there were two things. Well, one I second. liked, I liked yeah, Michael yeah. Block's story. There's two it's things nice that were, were nice. annoying. The guy cried like 17 times. He said he didn't cry when his kids were born. That's he, a knock on him. That is a knock. I cried when all three yes. of my kids were born. He cried like, and I'm not talking about just the one when he got set up at the end where it was like Jerry Maguire, Rod Tidwell, right. Right. where they're like, and here's a video of your family, and here's a video of your kid. He was crying on like Friday mm. when they're like, "Oh yeah, you're you're you know matched up with Rory or something." He started crying, crying he's too like, much. He's like, he's like, they asked. I remember they asked me. They like, walked away. They came back. He's like, "Are you serious?" Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you're tied for eighth. Who the <laughs> fuck do you think you're playing with? <laughs> right. And then you know you're playing with Gary Player. Like, what the? F- hey, by the way, one other thing. Everyone's like, "Oh, this is gonna be a movie." I'm like, "What movie is it?" The guy yeah. finished fifty. Yeah, he finished fifty. That was the thing. So it's a the, nice story. The, I mean, the know. other part that pissed me off wasn't Michael Block's fault. Jim Nance being like. One of the most incredible up and downs. It's like, dude, what are you talking about? It was about? a nice up and down. It was but a sweet it wasn't, up and down. It didn't mean it meant well, something it got, personally got, for him. It got, I'm in the PGA next year, which he would have made anyway. He's playing against guys. He should go to the live. Other club pros, that would be awesome. Oh, they I, definitely I, must have made him an offer. You I see, mean, you, ten million, gotta go. Yeah, right? you, you already see he's playing at the Canadian Open. I already gave him an exemption. He's playing this week. Yep. I hope he shoots ninety six on Thursday. Just, for, I mean, I've had enough of this asshole. What's that stupid hat? He seems like a California sh- fucking shithead. I haven't get, listened yet. Get off my fucking TV. Uh, I haven't listened yet. But did you ask uh, Kepka if he wa- if he should be on the Ryder Cup team? Uh, we did not. He was very Block, drunk. Blocky definitely should be on the Ryder Cup. <laughs> he was very drunk when we interviewed him. Oh, okay. But I I think he wants to be. Oh, he'll What's be, their oh, name? He's got into it. John says he's going to be on the team. Yeah, Faxon and Brandon Chambly. Oh, Chambly hates yeah. Kepka. Yeah. Yeah. Chambly like, hates Liv. Yeah, yeah, he hates Liv. He hates Kepka. I, I understand people don't like Kepka. I mean, the guy's been great to us. I sound like I sound like Katy Perry and Ellen DeGeneres right there. But uh, he's, I mean, he's an all-time champion. Oh, I can't. Look, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of him. Like, I I don't like the whole thing. But what's wild about him is he has more majors than he has non-majors. He also he has, has nine finished, wins. He's he, he's has 36 majors, 18, 18 top ten. I think he has seven top uh, seven top twos. I think. Yeah, or yeah. something like that. So, no, I think nine. He has two run, four runners. It's he's, insane. It's a great play. He's a, he's a great player. It was. It took some. I wish just for the tournament. Forget that I was betting Hovland, but. When Hovland hit in the bunker in 16, it was over. There was no drama, which was too bad. But, mm-hmm. but good for – I mean, I have nothing against Kepka, and he should be on the right. But the weird thing is, like, uh, Luke Donald's a Ryder Cup captain because of Liv. And now – because Henrik Stenson went to Liv, so he yeah. lost his job. Oh. But now you're going to have, like, Liv guys, like, playing on the Ryder Liv, Cup. Just, the Liv thing's over. It's I know. That's what I mean. So yeah, just, just like, let just them play in everything. It's better for Kepka anyway. He doesn't – he doesn't care about the other terms. He can go dick around. Oh, it's he can, perfect for him. Can hang he around just, with that loser brother of his, and then go to the uh, and then play he, in the majors. He he just qualified. I think he got an exemption for the next five years. And he's also he's on. Well, he's already Cup. well. He's already in the PGA too. Right, he won but, before. no, but all all four majors. Well, he's already exempt in the U.S. Open, the PGA forever. But you're right. Uh, the Masters for another five years. In the and, British Open and the Open for another five. years. It's great. And yeah. and he so he basically and he's in the Ryder. Or he can be. He's qualified for the Ryder he's Cup. Make he the played Ryder two Cup. fucking tournaments. Yeah, he's gonna be. He's gonna be. Zach Johnson said yesterday, if, he, if he's top six, he's which he's good. If he's fucking gonna finish in the top five and one of the other two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's it playing. Yeah, matter. it's pretty insane to finish top six playing four tournaments. He's having a baby, right? Yeah, yeah. He's gonna name it Blake. That After, kid is yeah. destined for no, no, don't greatness. No, well, yes, just, yes, yes, yes. Probably a future member of Team Minahan. Oh, on like oh, the seventy fifth iteration. No question. <laughs> no question. I, this team is. I, I like uh, Quigsy and I like Rico, but this team, Dan, of course, articulated exactly what was in my head. Where are these guys? I expected. I'm shocked. I legitimately, I thought for sure we I'd drove, be sitting next. But to you me. don't know if you like, Quigsy could be this here. Morning? Quigsy. I ran this morning. I came from out. Like, what are we doing? It's crazy. It's crazy. Aren't you, you think more, today's the biggest? Who day? are you more down on? What? Who are you more down? Rico. On? Quigg's got his own life. Quigg's, Quigg's does everything. I mean, Rico, this is like his whole life has been building up to this moment. He had the whole story arc. He wasn't arc. too excited the other day when he called into the show. He, I don't feel like he was too excited about the dozen the other day. No, he gets very... Yeah, I'll text Quiggs to see if he's here. It's okay if he's not. I, I got no issue with Quiggs. He's a nice guy. He's, he's a soldier. He's, he's the third guy in the team. I have to say, I do always like when Omaha Steaks rolls around here. I wish we had them all the time. Father's Day right around the corner. Uh, Father's Day experts, Omaha Steaks. 
have made it easy to put a smile on this guy's face this summer with hand-selected packages. I wish, Dave. I'm surprised they don't have a grill here. There's got to be a grill somewhere in here. I mean, how yeah. great would that be today? Is, is I, What I say earlier in the show or later in the show, I don't know. There's a very... I don't know when you're dropping this, which is unusual for us to drop ads. you have any idea? Right. Uh, soon, this will come up. I was saying earlier, time. in New York City, I don't have a place around here that I like to get lunch. Right. How wonderful would it be if somebody like a, like a, like a Rico was manning the grill? Oh, sure. With Omaha steaks or hot dogs or hamburgers? Yeah, yeah. That would be unbelievable there's for gotta, lunch. There's got to be a grill here if you there want to track be. Them down. Yeah. There has to be. That would be fantastic. Uh, uh, yeah, again, this Father's Day deal right now. Bacon wrapped fillets. Oh, unbelievable. I'm telling you, I love Omaha steaks. Uh, uh, chicken breast, uh, burgers, Jumbo Franks, many more favorites. Great desserts as well. Uh, five generations of family-owned expertise. Unbelievable stuff. With this Father's Day coming up, I'm telling you, get it for your father, uh, for your brother, for your father-in-law, whoever you want, your, your, your husband, whoever. You will not. Nobody will be dissatisfied. In fact, nobody will be nothing short than thrilled with Omaha Steaks. Order today, get $30 off of the promo code KIRK. And every purchase is backed by their unconditioned, uh, unconditional, I should say, 100% money-back guarantee. Uh, minimum order may be required. See site for details. Order today, $30 off with promo code KIRK. Uh, this is the best deal you get for Father's Day for anybody. I am begging you. Send them to the studio. We love that day. That happened to us last year, right? It Father's sure Day? Did. Yes, we got oh, puns. Yeah. It was fantastic. OmahaStakes.com. Get 30% off with my name, K-I-R-K. Uh, see site for details. Tell me about Hank. What happened with Hank? He's minimizing I I, what? Well, I don't want to spoil anything that the guys are working on for this summer that these guys are working on. They're working hard on it. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, yes. Yeah, I yeah. do know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about in terms of the minimizing? No. Okay. Well, I'll just say there are two people, four or five people who are exempted into something. And then they're asking me to participate with a bunch of other people to be qualified for something. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah. And I would just—I was very nice out there, but and not, I'm not, I believe I have an exemption. Yes, you do. Dave does. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Whitney, maybe. He's not going to be there. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> he's not. Yeah. And then you know, I, I'm not going to give anything away, but the idea of me going out there and like battling with you know Hannah Cook and Jersey Jerry—nothing against these people, but yeah. this is not. Yeah, we need to get yeah. you an exemption. I, yeah. I, not that. No, no, no. I'm not, I, listen, I'm no. no, no we'll work I'm, on I'm, it. I'm, I'm we'll no blocky. I'm not going to be crying and begging for exemptions on the phone. We'll get but, you one. But, the, but, you know, it's a, it's, it's a long summer. Yeah. Whitney not being there is unbelievable. But that's yeah. A, but that's no surprise. No. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I, when I watched, uh, the, I will say, when Block holed out, that was, the hole in was pretty sweet. That was, I, it was, I, that was cool. I will give him that. Yeah. That was pretty good. And then you immediately hated him when he kept on asking. Well, he did ask a lot. I mean, Ro again, Rory ran over and hugged him. And everyone went crazy. Well, yeah, like, like, we don't hate. Him, we hate how the announcer. No, I don't. No, I don't, I, I, no, I, I, I don't like him. him. Yeah, Kirk Kirk him. Every, 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 no, because no, he's like the. He's like, are you serious? I make a hole in one. Are you serious? Like, yeah, yes, okay. you made up. Like we, like, every every question he got asked, he'd be like, you serious? I don't know. Like, are you serious? Like, you see, am I, I? I made the cut. My play. I mean, I'm playing yeah. the next two days. I I I liked the story. I liked him. Great the crying part. He cried at like the littlest thing. Like he, they were like, when did you feel like you could compete in this? And he's like, last year when I played like two. Two uh, groups behind Tiger and started crying, and I was like, "What? Right. Why are you crying about that?" <laughs> right. That's very weird. Some people are crying. You're a crier. I'm not really. A crier. I cry. I thought you said you were a crier. I cry. You cry. Oh, I, I mean, cry. I cry. I cry. I cry. I cry. I my, cry kids. my kids were born. I cry. My kids were born. I've cried a couple all three movies. Couple, cried all three all times. times. All three I cried both times. All three times. Yeah, we're not a person, Dave. You have no it's a fucking pussies. miracle of life, <laughs> yeah, Dave. There is. Yeah. Dave was busy. He was filling in for Steve at the time. When his last kid was born, he was busy on Instagram while his wife was in delivery. What the messaging with Brandy Love on. What else are you gonna do? Oh, nice. What were you doing? You're probably watching. Sports I was watching the Warriors tweeting? Lakers game. What's no, I was. I was watching. I stopped was, tweeting out of respect. He was on a flight from uh, West Virginia. Yeah. So please, oh, Jesus. Right. That was crazy. Right. Yes. Yeah. Where were you when I was born? Well. <laughs> and the best was Dave Portnoy. Uh, when my wife called me, it was like, I think my water just broke. I was like, Well, okay. I just we had just gotten there. We just gotten in the green room. It was like maybe six o'clock, two hours before the show. Uh, and I was like, I gotta go. And Dave was like. How will he know that if you were there or not? Like, just tell him you were there. And I was like, well, he could look up his birthday and see that I was calling Shizat to Rizat instead of being in uh, New York City for his birth. So, one of the great things when I was little, even until I was like an adult, until uh, really Harry, I guess. Like, I always thought, like, because in movies when the water breaks, like, you think, like, the kids would be born, like, right, 10 minutes right, later. You have like, time. Right. Like, everyone's like, I was thinking the movie nine months, you know, where they're like yeah. sprinting around. Like, no, it's like, it could be like a fucking day. Oh, yeah. My my son, my uh, firstborn was, 
my wife's water broke at like 1 a.m. and he wasn't born till like 6 p.m. Yeah, it's just sometimes they just send you all back. day. Like, yeah, yeah. Yep. Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah, the whole thing is crazy. But my, um, my other my other random like thought of the day was uh, this morning I had to urinate like crazy. I had to get off and, 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 and you urinate. Your prostate checked. I'm old. It's just I'll be when do you have to do that? I, I say 50. Others say younger. Okay, it's fine. It's a all scam right. anyway. All right. Okay, good. When, when you have to like a super full bladder and you urinate, mm-hmm. like I'm not saying the leading up to a moment. But when you release that urine, is that release of the urine better than the release of ejaculate? Yes. The feeling itself, yes. I think. No, I'm, I'm not saying leading up to it, or anything, but I'm just saying. No, I know what I you're saying. I think it is. Yes. I think it is. It's almost worth. Well, there's also different levels of ejaculation, though. I think so. Like it's not the same Oh, this is. Because there's also, like, a, just a huge dump that makes you feel like a new human. Yep. Greatest. Where much, you're like, yeah. oh, oh, my God, like, I can... I feel like ten pounds lighter. I always call it right. a much needed dump. You feel you, you feel fantastic. I think what happens too is as the older you get, because like if you asked, oh yeah, yeah. like a 20 uh, in twenties, yeah. yeah right. But the older you get, I think yeah, you're right. The the taking a piss when you that really first have moment to. you're like, oh, it happened. Like, yeah, was, uh, I think yeah, the release. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, no, you're right. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of big thoughts I have. <laughs> when did you When did you get here this morning? Like, yeah, yeah, You just yeah. got in on the train this Ran morning. This morning, yep. Took the train. Did not jump in front of it. Considered it. And then, <laughs> Quiggs, Quiggs said he'd be here in 20 minutes. Okay, that's fine. Quiggs is look. The oh, obviously, as I said to you, the X. I know I'm going to play pretty well. Quiggs going to do his thing as always. The X Bosco. factor is Rico Bosco, who and is now a change guy. He's a religious guy. He so is. He's like the ultimate warrior. If you remember, was very. <laughs> Very, uh, very yes. angry, and then found religion late in life. Changed yes. his name legally, I think, to Warrior. Yes. So we should change his name legally to Rico, I think, and I, see how it goes. The only thing that would make you nervous, and I'll, I'll tell you to just many look out things for that it. make me. Nervous. Okay, but what time's your game? Like one. Okay. Oh, everything's delayed. The field. Yeah, like. everything is delayed. What time's yours? Uh, oh, you have, do you have I a think game after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we have a bye. We're the only team with a bye. Who do you play? The winner of, of Baddies and Uptown Balls. So not a very like beneficial bye. Both two. Who's very on macro dosing? Uh, Arian, Foster, yeah. Billy, and I think oh, your Big guys. T. Oh, Big T's wild. Yeah. I like that. Or maybe it's... Uh, I think it is, it is. Mad Dog, Mad- no, think, Madison. Yeah. I think you're right, though. Yeah, go ahead. Um, Dave's presence is all you have to worry about. I know. Believe when me. Dave gets here, Rico will become a different human. He's been very good on like this really good path where, yeah, I don't really believe this is going to last, but I'm giving him the benefit not. of the doubt. Yeah. Yeah. When Dave shows up, all the anxiety comes back. This is the first time, right? What? He's really seen Dave? No, he. Oh, that, oh, no, had, really there was a Dave. gambling stream that Rico showed up to. Right, I saw. That. Uh, I saw that because Dave was there. But yeah, that's what you have to worry about. Right. Rico, Rico, and Dave are really like he can't handle that right now. Because Dave was at the game last night, right? Yes, he was on the scorers yep. table. I saw that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Has well, he been to every game? He's, he went fucking, to both Boston. Fucking games. disgrace. Like, uh, I'm, I don't really care about the Celtics anymore. I was a vomit watching this when I saw that score last I night. I told Hank last series against Sixers when they were down 3-2, I was like, I, they have a vibe of a team that doesn't like each other. They would have been. I told I told Hank this morning, this guy's going to lose his – this guy, coach is definitely going to lose his job. Yeah. If they had lost, He's a weirdo. If they lost that game six to the Sixers – he wouldn't have lost his job. Getting humiliated and seeing guys quit like this is actually worse for them. I agree with that's that. That's why. Yes. And by the way, I do not believe this gentleman watches the town four times a week. No, and the fact stupid. he's lying yeah. is even weirder than if he watched the town four times a week. I would also agree with that. The The jujitsu story is the right. part that I was like, what's up with this guy? Very, getting just yeah. choked out. This is a mistake. Uh, this is a hiring mistake. Fire him. Well, they didn't. From- they, didn't they? They really had no choice because they also do you. I mean, do you guys know what happened with Ime Odoka? I still don't know. I mean, I've, like everybody else, I've, I've heard, heard rumble. I've heard 70 yeah. different things. Yeah. Okay. So that's exactly. So I was listening this morning, and the people were talking about and they are talking about it. I'm like, it's so weird. They're going to fire this guy in, like, the guy they got rid of before. No one even knows why he got fired. Right. And they lost the, the – what's his face went to – with Danny Ainge, who's supposedly a good coach. So it's a disaster. It's, it's a the most disaster. bizarre – like, and then I, I just – in terms of the actual team, I was, I was telling Hank on part of my take, I was like, you can – the coach is an idiot. But at some point, the players – you have to blame yes. the players. Yes, I would say yes. And they, it's Jalen Brown. Parts I saw stunk. So yeah. I didn't watch a lot of it, so I had to be fair. And Reggie Miller and Stan Van Gundy stink. The whole thing, the whole presentation. I'm over Van both Van Gundys. Yeah, Jeff Van Gundy feels like he's for, he's, he's for. I'm, I, I hate to say this because he follows me on Twitter. He's a nice guy. I went back and forth with him. Oh, no. Trevor Illman's kind of a lightweight on this broadcast. Oh. Like, you don't even really notice him. I, I, I'm, I actually I, didn't know he was on it. So he's I, the lead color guy on the broadcast well I, in we, comparison to like nick faldo he's awful no he was awful he's just small like yeah. step you gotta 
Like, you know, I, don't, I hear. Who's the woman? Uh, Dottie Pepper. I like her. You do? Okay, yeah. She's fine. I'm just looking for credit. She cried. It's like whenever Doris Burke calls a game. She's, like, I oh, love Doris she's Burke. Awful. She's, she's awful. People just give you credit. No, I know. Doris Burke's actually. Dottie Pepper actually cried when John Rahm uh, had to with, had tested positive for COVID. Remember at the memorial, yes. he was up by five shots. Yes. And she went, she's like, yep. I guess I could say John, John Rahm has COVID. And she was like crying. I was like, do, you, <laughs> do you ever think about those moments? Like, remember when Jay Glazer held the entire NFL world hostage for like three days because the backup center for the Rams had COVID? Yeah. He's <laughs> like, right. I have I, huge I, news I forgot about coming that. out on I forgot Tuesday. About that. I forgot about and that. It's like, just looking back, it's like, what the fuck were we doing? <laughs> Everyone thought that like the, you know, there was a huge trade or something. It's like, no, the backup got, center on the Rams had COVID. <laughs> But well, you started it in Miami. You I did. Were, you were in studio with us, and I think I think you were patient zero. I, I not only started it, but I, I jinxed it so many times. We did on the Yak, I remember vividly, we did this stupid idea. We did newspaper week where everyone had to read a newspaper yeah. and come in with ideas. And it was right, I remember this. Yes. right when the, the um, cruise liners were getting sent back. Sent back, people were stuck. And we're up. like, imagine being scared of <laughs> a fucking disease called covid I did it all the time and steve was like steve would be like no like 76 percent of the world will contact this they will get it i'm talking to people yeah steve was actually on top of it he was yeah, he, he was. predicted it but then he also didn't give like he still came into the studio with you right so it was weird yeah. like he knew what was coming but he didn't take any uh, well he was kind of correct he didn't hard he work did, like, right. he didn't take it seriously but he was you were separate like you were separated from him he's in a different yeah i never there. i never like didn't take it's weird how close that Miami Super Bowl was to it was like yeah. two weeks away. It was right, right? there. Yeah. That was yeah. Jesus Christ. Hey, uh what happened with the audio with the real estate guy? Oh, just a bad day. I'm I was say, so excited. Uh, how for bad that was he? He was on was NBC that? Nightly News last night. Talk really? On a Sunday on a, it was a segment about the Sunday scaries. How do you know this? Oh, someone said it to you? Sent, yeah, they sent oh, yeah. it to me, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That guy sucks. He stinks. He dominated you, though. He, he did he dom- really you dominate daddy me. He didn't like, like, nothing no, to daddy say. came and saved to you. Say. He had nothing to say. He definitely saved me, yeah. but he well, didn't have anything to say either, really. Well, no, but you're talking all kinds of shit. You were talking shit about him. Yeah, but it wasn't like real shit. No. It was just like shit. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is like Jeff Lowe. Get back to trivia. <laughs> it's all the, I shouldn't try to change the topic today whatsoever. <laughs> is it Jeff? It's all consuming. Jeff can play it. Like if he <laughs> if he maneuvers the questions correctly, you can lose. And what was cheating. that segue? What what were we, even, we weren't even. The, I, think the, I was listening to him talk about that. The real thing segue? about Jeff Lowe. <laughs> I'm a Sunday news on a, a, a newsies or something. I don't oh, know. Wait, your point. the point again. The House of Blues in Boston. He totally rigged that again. Totally rigged it. Well, wait, no, say I'm it again. Not, well, no, Jeff. Like I am really good. At certain things, but there are certain things I don't know about. If Jeff was like, "Hey, you know, I'd rather have this team move on," he, I th- he think could. I'm not saying you would. I think you're a protected class team, though. Oh, I don't think so. I think so. I don't think so. I think it's it's us, uh, D- ZD, experts, Frank and the Frankettes, and you're right behind. Well, we that. play Frank tomorrow. Yeah, if we I th- win. Well, if I we think win. that's the whole. I don't think he rigs anything, but there are. He the, the way the bracket sets up, you should be able to get at least a couple of the big draws to the live show. That I, would be the, the argument. As I call him, second tank Frank. Second take Frank. Right? Ooh. Yeah, well, I mean, it's never a genuine take. He's a, you know, like it starts, he stares at the camera. He's like, ah! Did you see the clip, though, of the Mets? Someone I still caught think he, him in the wild. But he knows the camera's. No, the camera was from like, he's aware uh, the this, next uh, section over. Where was Clemmer? Was Clemmer wiping his ass? What was he doing? <laughs> Have you? Are he's you going nearby. to speak to Clemmer? When I don't you're plan here? on it. As, I, as I've said in the show, Clemmer is essentially like Beetlejuice's manager on Howard Stern at this point. Yeah. Like, that's what he's here for. Wait, are you? I can't remember. Are you out on Clemmer Out again? on Clemmer. Or, what? Okay. Oh, out. Because uh, trivia. Yeah. He, he that's came right. In. I, mean, I, that's, can't, I can't that, remember that, that's why. A, that's a no-go. That's yeah, a, yeah. That's a no-go. Are yeah, you yeah. still down on him? No, I just don't really... There's. I have nothing to do with him. Yeah. So it's not really like a down or up. It's just there's certain people you just... I mean, I say hi to him. But that, I have nothing to do with him. He, that, didn't, he didn't get the invite to Chicago, I assume? No. Yeah. He did not. Okay. That large post about the people going to Chicago. Did you read it? Which one? Oh, large, large. Yes. Is I, that thought right? you meant, lo- I thought you meant an adjective talking about the post. No, large, the guy who. Yes. It, the yes. rough and rowdy guy. Who, well, I actually like. We used to hate. Well, I don't know why we hated He hated me. He was a dick during the Willie Cologne thing. The oh. two calls. Well, thing, was yeah. he really the dick during the Willie Cologne thing? If we're going to look of. back on it, yeah, but he was just defending his. Or guy. was I the dick on the Willie Cologne thing? If, oh, if, wow, if, if, look at this growth. I'm not saying I was wrong. Yeah. What, what 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 time is Willie's game today? <laughs> <laughs> Do we know? <laughs> no, nah, he's fine. He's working at Old Navy. I saw him earlier. <laughs> um, hey, if Bosco loses today, he might be. I like next Willie. To Willie. I got along fine. So we he, lo- he ranked the order of the people he will not miss. Yeah. Was it was that 
Was that the tongue in cheek parody? I think it was. Oh, okay, I didn't know. So he likes Nick. He just was doing it to fuck with Nick. Oh, I got you. Yes, okay. but they actually yes. like each other. Yes, they, oh, okay. I, so. I, I don't. I have no idea. I'd be shocked if anyone doesn't like Nick. Is there anybody going to Chicago who you're like? Put it this way: If I said to you, you have to. It's expansion draft, like with the old Charlotte Hornets, Miami Heat. Right. You have to put one person up for expansion. Who's the last? Who's the least important person going to Chicago? Ooh. I'd have to look at the full list. I don't know I if I like have... 40 people are going, right? Yeah, there's a lot of people. I mean, everyone is doing... So... People are, like, giving up their movie. It's like the old days, like, Little House of the Prairie, where people would just move, like, it's, well, it's I... for new land. Well, it's not even... I I think it's just people are sick of this... Living, of in, New living in New York. The expense of living in New York is is insane, going especially out, like, if you're, like, in, a, like in your 20s. An inexpensive your... little town of Chicago. No, but it's a lot different. It is. Yeah. You, you can you, get a lot more space. You can live in Indiana. You could live in it. You could live in Wisconsin. Brandon's yeah. living in Wisconsin. Is that where? He, oh, is that where he's living? Yeah, I mean, he's pretty close. Really, he's closer yeah. to Wisconsin than really? he is Chicago. Oh, when I did the one-on-one trivia with him. Remember that yeah. with Jeff? He was Before. negotiating his house yeah. sale during it. Yeah, which was not exactly like hearing a mastermind at work. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, definitely was, not. It was a sad, definitely it was a not. sad scene. Um, but I think it's just like the idea that uh, this this office has died a little bit. From COVID and, and everyone. No, it's, yeah, it's not the same. A few times I've been here. Right. That's, yeah, yeah. And I think people are excited about the idea because if you're someone who um, is maybe like trying oh, to grow. Time out. Sorry. Time out. What do you got? 10 o'clock. 1 o'clock game. Oh. <laughs> you missed it by 30 seconds. If you're someone who's trying to grow, being in the mix and having live streams and stuff, that's the fastest way to grow. So that would be the, the pitch of going to Chicago. Is that a shot at Kevin? Because what's Kevin going to do here? I don't think they're going to do live stream. No, it's not a shot. They're not going to do live streams. Like they're I, not going to stream. Why would you guys a shot like Kevin? Well, yeah. like Kevin's got a, he's, this. He's going to own the New York office. They're obviously going to be doing things. Of why course, would he be yeah, of family course. here? What's he going to? He lives. No, but he also. Oh, no, I'm just saying he's he's no, putting be, he's putting a preference on Chicago content creation over New York. No, no, no. I'm saying that if you it, like, he just there's wants to move to Chicago. There's going to be a lot of things all, in the mix. This is yeah. all bullshit. You he just wanted you, to move to Chicago. No, you can show up in, in the Chicago office, and there will be live streams. Going on basically all day where you can be in the mix. It's yes. a little easier barrier to entry to get eyeballs on you. I saw somewhere that you basically said, like, everybody in Chicago has to show be up. on camera I show up. and show yeah, up. That's the other day. Yeah. yeah, yeah show if up. you don't want to be there, I would like yeah. to recreate headquarter HQ2. Nice. The, the, the days of, of people showing up to the office and having a palpable buzz and, like, what could happen next? They wanted the first place in New York, you mean? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I went that, there it, once. We yeah. lost that here. And that, that's no one's fault. It just is what it is. Yeah. Like, people kind of splintered, COVID, all that stuff. Well, Dave so, moved to Miami. Too. Yeah, that, that's yeah, a big part that's of it. Part. So, yeah. I think, and obviously people, Gaz mostly, will try to make a rivalry New York versus Chicago. New York's going to be wildly successful. They're just going to be doing things a little bit different. What do you make of the mean girls running away after the Kelly Keeks thing? Because they haven't it's a been mistake seen since. No, it's yeah. worse than that. It's fucking pathetic. No, it's a you, mistake you can't, by them. you can't, I mean, you can't, well, maybe you can, I guess, but like what, in the old days, there was real repercussions for that. Now, no one's, I don't know. like that. That's the point, is that there will be repercussions yeah. for that in Chicago. I don't have the ability to tell the mean girls, nor do I want to, right. to tell them to come in here. That will be the case in Chicago if you don't, if you stop Is that definitely out. why they're not here? I don't know. I asked Alex, and she said, no, they've just been busy. But I would imagine, I mean, the timeline definitely matches up that they stopped coming in. We said that on the show. Alex Bennett has a sense of humor. Like, she, she can play the game. But you would think, like... The other one The other one I heard is no, super sensitive. No. Yeah. yeah, but it, it's a big mistake by them. Because, like, you don't... If you're not here in the mix, you definitely lose something. If, yeah. you, if you willingly are out on an island when you live in the city that that there's a headquarters, it's so stupid. Yeah. Does she live here? Yeah. I think so. Both yeah, of? they both do. It's crazy. What are they doing all day? No idea. Just walking around New York. I have no idea. One second. Do you feel better? Uh, it's not something. It's just fuel. It's just fuel. You just got to put it in. That's it. All right, I we pee. should tell Quigs to come in. I got I to gotta run in a minute, but we need Where do you have to go? I have an uh, interview. Uh, Who are you interviewing? It's Rich Eisen. Well, do you I like him? No. <laughs> I, I mean, there was... What was the name I could have said that you would have said, yes, I, I like that person? You're a nice guy. Everyone you like, I don't like. I don't yeah, like, I know. I don't I know. like Scott Van Pelt. Okay. I don't like Ryan Rosillo. Okay. Um, you do like Simmons. I don't Somewhat. like Simmons. Somewhat. No, we used to get along. We don't credit. like each other. Yo, I, I mean, it's fine. Well, you give all these guys credit. Um, um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Joe I Buck? I don't like Joe Buck. Okay. These guys, here's, here's what you don't understand. You're a, very, you're a sweet guy. 
But these people, are, they do, while they like you, they're also currying your favor. Of course. What do I give a fuck, though? That would bother me. No, because I'm also doing the same to them. You think it, you think Rich Eisen is going to help you out? Yeah, you're not no, going to gain but, one download no, to the but, Rich Eisen. No. Yeah, oh, maybe on. the first time we had him. Well, yeah, but now? Maybe well, not. People might want to hear kick, you talk kick, to him, but no. he's not giving yeah, you kick yeah, him, yeah. Kick him. Kick him to the fuck. Kick him to the curb? No, I don't care. I mean, Scott and Ryan, I, I actually consider friends. But yeah, a lot of these guests, it's like, I, I know that it's transactional. What do I care? I take it personally. That's why. Okay. You, you're, respe- <laughs> you're defending. You just don't want to see me get hurt. Well, no. I just think, I think yeah, as long as you recognize you're being used, and that's fine. But I'm using too. Do you have any huge guests coming up other than Rich Eisen? Or are you going on his show? No, he's no, he's coming in here. Um, huge. What guess. are you having him on for? I don't know. He's in town. What, Dan Rapport is too busy? Can fucking come on? <laughs> that would piss me off if I were him. Like, Dan, he, Dan Rapport on? No, that did piss me off. He You're brings right. all these people me. onto his shit, but they don't really invite him on their shit. I've been either. on Rich Eisen's show. But yeah. yeah. Why would you want to go on Rich Eisen's I also show? don't like going, like, what do I want? I like to go on shows where I like the people. This oh, you don't place, like Rich Eisen? This place? No, no, I'm saying, like... If someone asked me to go on their show, I want to like have a relationship with them that's more than surface level. It's good that Kepka was drunk at least last week. He wasn't that upset when they kicked him off to put Rapport back on for another hit. Last okay, night. so <laughs> no, I just texted I'm her kidding, I'm kidding. and I told him, U.S. Open, it's on. He's I'm on. kidding, I'm kidding. I'm Rapport kidding. did, so in full transparency, we had Shane Bacon on before the Masters. Yes. And Rapport did hit up Hank and was like, hey, if you guys ever want me on. That's fine. I'd you be should, happy to a, do it. You should do that. And it was, it's a fair point by him. We employ a guy who does the same job as yeah, all the other trying. journalists. So. Yeah. Although Rapport tweeted out yesterday that uh, uh, Kepka and Hovland had, didn't even look at each other during the round. Yeah, was that like, was wrong. I was like ch- I said, they were yeah. chatting the whole time. Yeah, that was yeah. wrong. I, I mean, I don't, didn't really understand that. I get the sense he tweets things sometimes to like fit into the barstool vibe. Oh, you think so? That's what I think. I haven't given yeah. it that much thought. I, I don't dislike the guy. He yeah. seems like a nice enough guy. I don't know. Sure. I'm sure he'll be part of this thing. I'm going to be fucking, you know, playing oh, head to head. Oh, you need an exemption? He'll be playing head to head with fucking uh, well, You need to earn your exemption. Bob Goochman for it to see if I can get the fucking like, Bob Goochman. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? Don't piss off the guys who write the trivia questions. I like Goochman. I'm just saying. He, I saw, yeah, I saw Goochman. This, I don't know. So, so your prediction is we're going to win today? I think you guys are going to win today. I think you guys are going to win today. I don't think so. I actually I don't really think do. so. Actually, I actually don't. I was, you know what? I swear to God, this is true. I was even thinking team lunch before. Then you got to listen to Rico pitch about everyone. Rico called me the other day after calling the show and asking about the Scorsese movie. Called me and asked me. About I'm like, it's not out yet. What do you want me to say? Are, good. Has he been bitching to you at all? No, no, no. All right, than, so he's actually changed because I've heard. Well, I know that, but he's. Well, he's trying to change. He's doing his best. Yeah. He's, he, the tentacles. Well, oh, you, oh, you, oh, what are you hearing? You hear no, I'm thing? hearing he's, he's actually not pitching anymore. Well, you deal with him all the time. Yeah, but he's but he'll put on a show for me. Yeah. I want to know if he is falling back to his old ways where he's just. All he's doing is obsessing about more than, everyone else. More than that, I've tested him a few times. Really? Yeah, I've thrown a few things out there, and he's not biting. Damn. But I think he, I think, I actually think he knows. That's why I'm doing it. I think he's not that smart. That's true. But he, but he's, but he, I mean, it's he hasn't. But the sad thing is, is that you know, guys like you and Dave are trying to get him to back to who he was. As I'm not, to, as opposed no. to celebrating who he no, is. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to get. I'm not. Do you think this is the real Rico Bosco, or do you think that was a real Rico Bosco? That was a real yeah, Rico Bosco. This is this is a new. He's basically he's uh, he's Jack Nicholson in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest at the end, right? He's been lobotomized. Yes. Yeah. Like it, it just is what it is. That's he's, probably. It's probably. <laughs> Does it make him worse as a content <laughs> pr- provider? Yeah, probably, but he's <laughs> less of a danger to society. <laughs> That's a trade. So you're gonna pay him to be less of a danger right, to society. Right, exactly. Did you ever did you ever think he was going to Chicago or no? He wants to. Oh, you don't want him to go? No, I've I told family him family stuff. No, I told him he I have told him in an honest conversation that I think he it suits him best to stay here for one year and try to build something on his own. And also I don't know where he's at with Dave and his contract, so I told him Next April, you can come. Oh, like, he would have moved? He he wants to, but he also doesn't know. I think Dave has him year to year now. So he's like, do you That's think true. Dave would... Ex- he's like, I don't really want to move if Dave's not going to give me another year. I was like, I don't think you want to have that conversation with Dave. When I'm looking had, forward like, to another Rico contract negotiation. Yeah. Yes. Tell you. He's had yeah. three good months. I was like, I don't think you want to go ask Dave So right now. So why don't you wait a year, get a new contract, and then you can move. So, I was never asked to go to Chicago. You can come. What, what the hell would I do? With that? You would be so miserable being in an office. I actually would I, love to I see. I couldn't you. even. I wouldn't last a week. And I like. I like I, one month. How long is anybody there? I don't like. It actually would be like you know how we're doing reality shows now. We should just do a reality show. Kirk goes to work. 
And it's just Ugh. you trying to do an entire month. It's like a Mr. Beast challenge. No chance. Every every day that no you can chance. go to an office and converse with people, you get ten thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> I would by I, the end of the month, you get a million. I would cash out at like <laughs> twenty five hundred bucks. I'm like, I'd be like, it's like lunchtime day one, and you're like, all right, give me my three grand. Yeah, I'm out of here. Oh yeah, that's funny. Yeah, look at that video. Oh yeah, oh, there, there, up, there's uh some guy is Stephen Che. Oh look how goofy he is. He's going right. Yeah, that's good. So yeah. the whole your whole show's going, right? The whole part of my take show's going. Right? Whole part of my take show, no, except not Billy. Billy. Yeah, right. Not Billy. Oh, that's right. He's not going. Right? Yeah, he just. I I don't know if. What is, why is why isn't he going? I don't know if like he loves uh, the content world. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I don't. Yeah. I I he, he that's the vibe I get. That maybe he's doing well, something for him, else. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's everyone's choice. Yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, Che is one in a. One in a billion type of brain. Yeah, I like watching him. I, I, I saw him at the Super Bowl a lot, and I just watch. I remember. Yeah, you called him a what is a, a mental terrorist or? Yeah, I think is I think this real dark. Like I think there's gonna suddenly be a spike in murders in Chicago, which is saying a lot. But there's gonna be like you know, you're gonna start saying this is strange. Like look at the suburb. Like why have 14 people died? <laughs> Jay being a serial killer. Uh, all right, what else? I, I gotta, I gotta Go run to a minute, but no, what else? What else? I, I want Pump you up. What else is with you? What, what, any other thoughts you have? Nothing. Uh, I don't know if I want trivia. I don't. I have a complicated thing with trivia. I, I like mean? it, but it's also annoying. But that's also you know, I, want I need well, to get over it. You, uh, oh, you don't mind going to Chicago? Obviously, no, obviously Chicago. I want to go. But like I, I also like losing is not the worst thing because it's just. I think it's really just like the brand is the world. Give me secondhand anxiety with how serious he takes it. Right, I take and it. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. in you too. But I don't yeah. take but Brandon's like... No, Brandon's annoyingly yeah, takes it. You, want, you put the pressure on yourself. Brandon Correct. weirdly puts pressure on everyone else. Right. Um, yeah, I'm excited though. Today should be fun. Everyone's in the office. Do you think people are going to gather around and watch these things or is it more like people are going to kind of walk by and... For see? Dave's uh, game later tonight, probably. Oh, yeah. There'll yeah, probably yeah. be people trying to get some FaceTime. Right, right, right. I'll be long gone. Right. But Same here, yes. Yeah. 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 Where Are you staying in the city? No. I'm not staying in, the, I'm not staying in New York. Okay. No, I can't. This, I get Undisclosed I get claustroph- location? Yes, yes. I get claustrophobic in the city. I okay. Get, walking around here this morning, it's the most dep- it's the most depressing place on earth. <laughs> you really you, think that? Yes. Yeah, smell of urine. It just, doesn't smell great when it gets warm uh, here. Uh, horns are honking. People are yelling at each other. There's just... A lot of. What time did you have to run this morning to still get here? Two thirty, I ran. Wow. You really, you it really bothers you that much? Yes, I don't like. You know me, I don't like. Yeah, I don't like. Once I get in here, it's fine. Like it's as fine as it is. But like, like I, I'm a regimented person. Like, where am I going? Where am I going to go to lunch today? Just order lunch. No, I, but I like to go somewhere, sit and read my book and have lunch. What the fuck am I going to do that here? I mean, yeah, you have hundreds of options. Yeah, but they're all like there weird. Really aren't, and there's like yeah, there's smoke really coming out front, to get and lunch like yeah. people are City. homeless, and then yeah. people are yelling. It's like, where's my place where I can get a little sandwich and just you know read? Doesn't my book? exist in New York. That's what I'm saying. Doesn't there's no exist. sandwich place in New York. <laughs> it's Why? a fucking place. But everyone's so it's just everything's moving so goddamn fast. So I, I you know I don't know. I wouldn't mind finding a couple of record stores though. Oh, oh? Are, yes. are, are is that your new thing? Yeah, vinyl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a vinyl guy. When, when did you decide this? Christmas, I got a, a record player, which I'd requested. Now I have a couple hundred uh, albums. What's your favorite one? Probably Nebraska. Okay. Probably Nebraska. But Not favorite album, just favorite vinyl? Uh, like, is that your favorite the, album of all time? Uh, Dark City Edge of Town is probably my favorite one. Though I've, I've now, alpha, not alphabetized, but I now have them ranked by their highest ranking on the Billboard 200 album chart. Okay. Which makes it easier for me to... So you're basically John Cusack from High Fidelity. We're just going to yes. continually reorganize your records correct for different things i never thought i'd be like a hard old record guy but i actually am i think th- i think once you get the the vinyl and you start collecting i think it's like after you get 10 of them you become you, yeah. there's no choice the other day i was at the one uh uh vinyl place and i found an album i gave it to the guy who owned the place I said oh nice pull <laughs> said, well, wait so what's the elusive i like this i'm actually interested in this what's the elusive record i don't know yet i don't have like a super Gold. I have a few, but my rule is I'm not going to buy any of them. In like a new break comics or like a story, just I want to get them at all used places. Okay. I like the hunt. Right. I like the and I like being surprised. Like oh, oh my god, here's the all nighter, the solo Glenn Glenn Fry record. So you want to just naturally come across all? Yeah, these. that's a, a great hobby. And then I love going through the liner notes and thinking, oh, I didn't know. I jeez, I didn't realize that he guessed he was the, the, the Roy Bitten from the Street Band played p- piano on this song. Holy shit! I love stuff like that. I'm jealous of you. This actually sounds like a great 
Because I love music like that. Yeah, why don't you do that? I should. You know what also is? That. It's super relaxing. But you know what I would do? I, I'll just admit it. I would just go and just buy all the ones no. I No, wanted. you can't do it. Like yeah, I'd just go on Amazon one, and just yeah. be like. Really, you would? Yeah, because I would be like, I want to see them. I want to look at them. Like, I like what you're, where your head's at. I would get restless and just be like, fuck it. Yeah. Skip ahead. I mean, there are times where before the Portland show, I was at one of the stores like for an hour just going through them yeah. like crazy. I found one. And the guy, the guy I wanted wasn't, I didn't find to be super impressed with it, but. Are you, do you like the band? No, we've talked about this. I'm, I have a, I'm like an okay, like I'm like a C minus, like knowledge level okay. of band. I know you're. I think they're the best band of all time. Yeah, I, I totally get that. Um, Why have you ever used them as, have you ever used them as a um, niche category or no? No, you know, I, I've thought about using Grateful Dead, but the there's problem is variety. there's so yeah, much. You could, I always get nervous even with Bruce. Like right. sometimes I'm like, oh, it's a lyric. Oh shit. Like I, I'll freeze. I had, I had Jeff. Get great, ten Grateful Dead questions just to see where I'm at. Like, you and you use I was like six for ten. Yeah, it's not so it's like yeah, it's yeah. not. It's just there's so much like random trivia when it, with a band for thirty years that and you don't. Yeah, the embarrassment would be. Rico pushes me to use Saved by the Bell because that's his. He wants me to do that as a niche category, but we always get the niche. I always get the niche right, so I don't right. want to. But that part of me wants to. If we ever get to the finals, not tell him and do it. Just see how he reacts. Oh. Just for the Quiggs, come in here. Yeah, Quiggs come over, here. Quiggsy. You, Quiggs, you, you showed up at... Uh, Look at Fit as a Fiddle today. I 10 like it. 10.30 sharp. There you go. Yeah. These, by the way, the, the the change from getting rid of the desk is not good for guys like no. us. It's We're just... Hey, what's up? It's not, not um, Kevin's here as well. The, do you think you came in a little late for your yeah. trivia? Well, our trivia is a one. Right, but Rico's but not I, here either. Rico just walked in. I would say I can. Oh, he oh, did? He did. All right, I'll switch seats to them when he... Oh, no. <laughs> Damn. That's calling his fault. Kevin... Oh, uh, Jesus. I'm, I'm about to leave, so yeah, I'm no. Rico, but Kevin Colony tried to start beef between us. Oh, no um, surprise there. For oh. no reason. Oh, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going, I, was, I was explaining that in Chicago, there will be more live streams. Oh, oh the, the great New York... Yeah, right. Chicago I was like, there's debate. people going to do this. Like, first, oh, of all, first, Kevin. first of all, that was defending you. Kevin, challenging his viewpoint. But, but, but that's still trying to start beef. I said there was wasn't trying to start beef. Yeah, it was trying to start beef. You were saying you're doing live streams as if he's not doing content here. No, he's not going to be doing... I questioned it. Continuous live streams. All I did was question it. Okay. I said the barrier to entry with if oh my you are, God. you can sit <laughs> my seat. Oh, yeah. I said the barrier to entry when you have live streams is a lot lower because you just have to show up. Don't yeah. you understand? Yeah. Like Kevin, that's the difference. Kevin is a new Mitzi Shore. Okay, he's Mr. Comedy. That's his job now. I'm, 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 Mitzi Shore. <laughs> you're, you're just booking comedians. That's your life now. <laughs> it is. You don't worry about anything yeah. else. Yeah, I'm not worried about live streams. Are you going to do Rich Eisen? Yeah. I also think, by the way, the the they're going to do sports here. And we're going to do comedy in Chicago. Take it easy. No one's doing what the fuck I, you're talking I, about. It's more the uh, you, 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 I, powers that be that decided mean to do it. like a... Look who you're arguing with. I mean, yeah, I know. I, yep. I shouldn't do yeah, that. Do not stoop. Yeah, that was, this, that come was on in. stupid. This might be the lowest moment of your career. That actually is... <laughs> I need to take a time. Though. Yeah, go, I need yeah, to go, fucking, go for a walk. Yeah, I'm going to take a 20 second time. Tensions are high. It's done today. It's a big thing. All right. Rico, you got this today, all right? Yeah, thanks. You're a little late. You're a little late. I thought you'd be here at 9.30. I mean, this is... Where's the other half of Rico? You, you lost like 80 pounds, bro. I know, you look yeah, good. Eating, I don't sleep. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's it. I, I really, Unimaginable I truthfully, stress. I truthfully did that thing where it's like, you eat once a day, but you just don't make it your like personality. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, oh, I'm doing this. Like, I yeah. just truthfully. Well, they, t- they say, you know, like hunger is just like, just tell your brain not to do that. But I can't do that. Yeah. And I'm kind of <laughs> still eating like what I am, but I'm making the choice of like, like the other night it was late. The game was on. I'm like, gosh, I go out, get trash or I just heat it up. Decent, like oh, you just make a different. decent choice here and there. So, so you shouldn't be getting trashed. The back pain was fucking killing me though. Right, how are you really feeling bad. now? Awesome. You feel Muscle good? Relaxes. Yeah, I'm way off that uh, shit. So. Oh. oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? I'm all, what was I was like, no kidding. Just, you feel great. You're on a fucking muscle relaxer. Uh, I was, actually don't really feel any. Like, no, I just feel loopy. With it. But uh, it was just I don't know. It's just locked up, dude. It was bad. Like I had to go to the hospital. Went to chiropractor Friday. Listen, where? What happened? You guys aren't a team anymore, or no? Yeah, we're, we're oh, yeah. you are the team. Oh, okay. For now, okay. okay. <laughs> Why am I? We here? don't know when. Are you gonna do a dozen is. thing? Or are we gonna? Uh, no, you're here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. What? We want to kick these guys. I'm fine. No, I'm just like. I don't, I, this is gonna be. A, I love you, but we made another trade. <laughs> 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 like, it's well, like, we don't make trades. I was gonna say. Yes. Yeah. You're just like a LeBron. You just you know you you decide your own roster. You correct. You build your team in it. That's it. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Do you play? You play today, right? Yeah, I play in like an hour. Who are you playing? Uh, who am I playing? Probably against? the most. You do this thing where you pretend. Like, you do Don't this you like, uh, the, Ken Jack. 
you, oh. David, uh, Mark Titus, and Donnie. Oh, you, do you, this thing, you do this thing where you pretend like you don't care that much about training. No, then, I don't. But, no, no, no. No, but do. then we text after you get into it. Well, you tell, I don't care like you care. You're no, a but, fucking loser. No, but, <laughs> I, I, I openly <laughs> say how much I care. I ca- Listen, I care about my personal performance. <laughs> the team loses when I'm, you know, Really? I'm, yeah. Although you're the classiest team in the league. Hey, we got the uh, uh, what is the it? Queens uh, of Mark, what are the uh, gentlemen sportsmanship uh, of the award. year. Yeah. Me and Rudy uh, tried to decline that. Didn't work. Yeah, yeah. We I were like, that's a great. Uh, Rudy was like, "This is terrible for our street cred." And I said, "Can we decline this?" And and Jack was like, what, "What's going on here? What, what do you mean, guys?" I was like, "This is the worst. This is like you know being like most friendly in high school or something." It's like, get the fuck out of here. I sent a team message last night. At yeah, um, you guys have a lot of pressure. on What time was yeah. that message sent, Quigsy? Probably seven, seven, eight. Responds right away. My thing was no impure thoughts, no booze, no drugs, eight hours sleep. Done. Fair. We have, we have, yeah, a, yeah, we have, yeah. a, we have a game. Eight hours bottle of throttle. Let's That's go. That's it. Uh, Jeff D. Lowe responds, hey, your match is at 1.30. Nothing from Rico Bosco. Nothing. Which is unusual. The new Rico Bosco is, I don't know. If, I know Sunday's the Lord's I'm looking Day. looking at the time. But I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. That was in the middle of the uh, dinner time. Fourth round, time. fourth round nap. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was <laughs> dead to the world. Okay, never mind. I was going to say he's doing shit with the kids. He was no, busy. No, 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 he was just sleeping. Dead. Yeah. Grown yeah. adult taking a nap. No so I haven't deal. seen you. Oh, I saw you with um, I saw you in Phoenix, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I haven't seen you since time. then. Yeah. yeah. So, so when is? Are you looking forward to everybody leaving? You must. Oh be yeah. Here. yeah. Oh yeah. Are you going uh, to leave, leave your out of here. cocoon over there and then wander back into the world? Uh, I will probably wander back out. Yeah. yeah. Um. I say that, but like, it's not like I really like hide there all day. It's like I come in, we record for like five straight hours, doing like, like a couple interviews, a couple episodes, and I go. Yeah. So it's not like I'm just like, if I if I have more time or when I have more time, hopefully, I will hang out out there. But yeah. it's not like it's I'm I'm sitting in there like I I can't go out to where you know the rest of those guys are. It's just that are I'm you either here or home. No? I'm going to Chicago. you're going to Chicago. Yeah. Okay, and you're you, Dan said you want to go. TBD. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. Figure, there's a lot in play. I mean, like I'm done in December. So to move out there right now in what July, you in December. Oh, your contract. The contract. So like, yeah, I mean that's that's just logistics. Oh my God, we're gonna do this again. Uh, no, that's not I me. Mean, cr- it's don't, just logistics. I don't. I don't I that's don't. just I know, straight like, up logistics. But, 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 like I, for the love of I, I, just, I, I want to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna it. write a letter to Penn and say, for the well-being of everyone else. Give this guy a lifetime contract. <laughs> well, it's he has straight one. up logistics. He has one though. It's, it's not crying. That's know. just logistics. Like, I know. Um, no, I know what you're saying. I'm saying if we're gonna do one year deals every year, yeah, we're gonna do the Rico Bosco right. contract well, negotiation publicly. I'm gonna put a bullet in my head. I was saying that to Dan. I was like, we're gonna do the guy in Mis- text all over again. But yeah. he's a different. But he's a change. There was man. a guy in Mississippi who, you know, he rapped and he had a three year deal, so he didn't have to worry. But <laughs> well, he's you know, it's all man. I mean. It's the only oh, person the company ever to wrap that. So I mean, what do you? What you need to just move. What do you expect? You need to move your contract renewal to not be during. No, what I need to do is because they because they won't know. Yeah. Is I just need to like, uh, change the the. Yeah, make just alter your contract. White it out and print it. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah, yeah. Another just put the form. Yeah. And and no I'm idea. surprised. The only reason this probably even becomes a thing is because you say something. If you if you don't say your contract's expiring publicly at Barcelona, I don't think anybody knows. Right. Why Mike is not worked for the going. company for three years and Portnoy always says is he, like <laughs> he, could, he could still be collecting yeah. a check. He's so dumb. I was gonna say the checks just it's it's literally office space. Like the money just will keep coming in. Is this true? The other day, so that on the uh, Red Rhino's still getting paid. Should we do a read? <laughs> we can do them after if you want. All right, whatever. Yeah. The um the other day on is on, this live right now? No. No. Okay. Just the want other, to know what words I can rap and whatnot. So that's true. <laughs> the other day on the Yak. They, in addition to that word, which I'm fine not saying, Colleen says it off the air, but the uh, there was a whole list of words that they say they, they, there was some meeting that said you guys can't use these words anymore. Was this true or no? Was this a bit no. of a yak? No, I don't you think You know what I'm talking are. about, Dave? Yes, the big cat said, oh, we should have asked him. Fuck, he was here. Grapist. Yeah, because Clemmer made fun of Kobe or something. Yes. Yeah. Said that he can't was a rapist. Can't say the word rapist? That's what, that's what they said there was some, but that didn't happen. That meeting. didn't happen. Okay. okay. Definitely yeah. wasn't a company-wide Good. meeting. Okay. All right, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of words which I don't know. Might have been a Kevin. Seems like a meeting. random joke, though. Gave <laughs> me no. I, yeah, that that knowing the yak, that could just be. Yeah, I guess I don't. Know. I mean, the you yak. don't really know. I mean, yeah, they could. Somebody yeah, could like land. Somebody could barge into the yak. I'd still think it's a bit. I'm literally not on the company email, so I have no idea. Even my email. Portnoy was like, yeah, a couple of years ago after that whole thing with the... Well, yeah, uh, yeah we, I'm we've not, been I'm over this. I'm not, you deserve I'm, to not yeah, be on the email. I'm not email. saying yeah. it's a criticism. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't know these yeah, things yeah, I was yeah, on the yeah, email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's been four fucking years. Yeah, but This like fucking bro- mic sucks, uh, Colleen. We, well, they all suck. You probably broke it when you fucking were flopping around in your chair. You're like, yeah, I broke in. 
I'm just going to pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the guy who, like, Thank broke you. into the office and, like, stole a bunch of shit. You're like, yeah, they took away my key card. Like, let's, you, uh, Rico, the last person on earth on here criticizes <laughs> is you. Criticizing me about some sort of company thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you fucking serious? Grass houses in I the mean, studio Jesus. They throw this fucking water bottle in your head. <laughs> but the, uh, no, but I understand that. But that, that's my larger point is I have no idea because I'm never on these emails. Which is a good uh, thing. I, I, don't, I don't want to be on these If right, anything, no. I would think that, that was a yak. You know, the yeah, yak maybe. had a little hiccup, so they maybe needed to have a little oh, internal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Internal meeting about what you can and can't say. Yeah. How many people are going to Chicago? How many do you say? Anywhere between 350 and 700, no I think. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what I keep hear. And then it's like, Seems like it adds up every day. There's yeah, more people yeah. going than I expected. It's too. like live. They're going to keep this. But I, I also think there's a lot. I think they say like 65 people or something, but I'd have to imagine a lot of that is uh, like production and, Technical. and uh, yeah, yeah, like support and all that shit. Cause I Did just you don't see think who the first many. person to go out was? Is there any shock to you? I don't know how much you know about where I'm going with this. Fistuli was the first person out. Oh, there. of course, of course. This kid, like, he has every piece of merch. Yeah, he lit. Oh, uh, yeah, Nick breeds. He's got the Super tattoo. Breeds. Does he have a tattoo? Yeah, he yeah. has yeah. a Viva he's Super. A guy, he's breeds. a guy from the, from the right. Wilbur show. Yeah. Yeah. he's a good guy. He's a good guy, but he's just is. It's you know no who's shock. a great he's guy? The first guy out there. You know who's a great guy? Chris Clemmer. Oh, that guy so is fucking. I was sad. What, what a, a gem that what dude What a is. sad moment in your life when you're like, yeah. Cle- it's Cle- a sad moment in your life. Because, I, because you know what? Like, like everybody hey, loves Clemmer. And you just have this person. Like, you're a, just missing out on a, a on, a, on a great guy. He's a snake. He's a snake. But you're like. You are too. You're like. You're like if oh, anything, you like, should be like, like you know, oh, he'd, hats he'd be, off. You're like, he'd be a great hire. So you could like watch the Mets games with him. You have a dream. I can watch Mets. <laughs> what's the content there? He wipes <laughs> Frank's ass. That's his job. That's okay. I mean, somebody has I to just do it. I like the guy. Bro, that's I don't know. Frank, I'll be honest. I don't know what he does, but I like him. Did you see the alternate angle of Frank t- screaming at the kids no. from behind? No, get the, get out of here. I, heard, I here. actually heard the first take was even better, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious. I heard it was even better. <laughs> Fucking phony. Another phony. That fat piece of shit. <laughs> Hopefully he dies of a heart attack and Clemmer dies of pancreatic cancer. Right? Am I, am I right? Am I right, Quixie? We're on the same page. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. You guys, you guys got to all we gotta, we gotta keep the chemistry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't you so, tell this team gets along? You, are you? You must be really good at, at trivia, no? No. Really? Selectively. I'm, good. I'm good. I'm like a good third guy. Okay. But I don't know. This, this is a. I feel like it's a good combo. I, I, feel, I feel like, like you know sports stuff yeah. that we don't. You know. got. I, You've been around the internet enough. You know this. Like you should know the celebrity mashup. I yeah, like, I have like bit. face. Hard, I suck at that. It's that's, that's such a hit or miss. But yeah. I, I just don't I'm, watch. I mean, I'm, I, I got no sports in me. I'm all like pop culture. And not like even like pre like, like 2000. Must, like or 2000. 2010? No, because it's it's just not. It's not about like when I watch and consume. You could ask me questions about like the 2022 Mets, and I'd be like, that's not my brain. Like I just don't. You know, and, and then, and that's, you know, and then we go like the 1998 SEC fucking quarterback. Oh, I'm like, I, I got idea. nothing, yeah. you know? Rico's the ex, I, you know what I'm going to bring to the table? Rico's the How many, ex- what do you put up a game? I don't even know. Eight or nine. I was the most valuable wow. player in the league. Three, three years? Three years in a row. How many playoff wins? Hmm? How many I've playoff? only lost two playoff games. How many playoff wins? <laughs> <laughs> well, in fairness, we, the first the year, Celtics. <laughs> the first year, uh, Jared screwed him, and I got added like the day before. You played very well in that game. They were on Zoom because they were also solving a murder. Solving a murder. For 14 hours a day. Okay, so now you're just carrying his water. I see see what goes on Let's be honest with that. So you fluff and And then last year was tough. Last year year. year was we laid (laughs) an egg. Last year we played a large team? Yeah, large. Yeah, that was was actually a choke. You got to win four to win the championship? Two to get to Chicago, four to win the championship. Yeah. Two to get to Chicago? Yeah, and then you got to win final four in championship. Yeah, so four. Oh, he's going to go to Chicago? Yeah. See, that's what I'm wondering if you have figured this out. You're like, I can see a lot of upsets late because (laughs) Kevin's looking like, I want to go on a fucking Thursday to Chicago. (laughs) I was going to say, can I win like two games? I I want to win one. and that's. that's, I would like to win, as I always say, I'd like to win that one game. Uh, That's... that's that's Flying pathetic. Chicago and from the MVP here. I only want to win one game. I don't want to go to Chicago. I know. That's <laughs> a, I just <laughs> found that out. And Boston, now I'm like, all right, the boy, Wilbur, let's win all one. Then I start championship. Let's go. Oh, how was the Wilbur? Uh, the Wilbur. Well, well, the Wilbur was awesome. Yeah, it was the good. Wilbur it looked was like really it was a good, good scene. Yeah. Um, I think we really figured out like our like we, we, somebody who went to our Wilbur show like many years ago and then went to our latest one uh, is friends with Feidelberg's brother and he asked them. He's like, did those guys get like, uh, like coaching or like take lessons or a class or something on how to do live shows? Because it's gotten like that much better. Because in the beginning, we were really just we didn't know what we were doing. We talked about now, yeah. We, so now we've got like a formula down. So some girl just, really left. Two girls really left in like five minutes. That was not the Wilbur. That was in te- somewhere in Texas. But uh, yeah, they got. I wish I saw it. I didn't. I heard about it after the fact. Yeah. Like one one minute in, like gone. I would have loved that. So what is, is that? Just people 
buying rent. Like I can't know imagine. You and I don't, like, no, we don't. We don't. Yeah, I feel like I bought the wrong tickets. That's we, the only we, explanation. Like, I, every show at the beginning, I kind of like test the, the crowd. I'm like, who's 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 a girlfriend who got dragged here? Who's a person who doesn't know our show? And right. it's always the only people who don't know us are a girlfriend or a boyfriend who gets dragged. Yeah. Never just people who are like, oh, I just you know bought tickets to the show tonight. Yeah. I don't so know. they must have known what it was. And not liked what we were talking about, which is, but it's like, I don't know. Yeah. If you're a fan of the show, that's crazy town. I, uh, I, I like doing them, but I feel like I get, I'm wiped out after. Oh, I, like I, am, I, 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 it, it is one of the most like ridiculous things. Cause again, we're not digging no, ditches no, and no, curing no, cancer, no. but I finished, we do like an hour and a half now and it's like high energy and crazy the whole time. And afterwards, like we do the meet and greet. And I'm like, fuck Good. this. Yeah. We do it before we've done. We yeah. do ours before. Definitely. Well, we do, meet do, yeah, do, do you do before. meet and greet at the Wilbur? Yes. yes. Like, I, I mean, like well, a thousand I, people? Two shows. No, no, no VIP. Okay, I was no, going to no. say. We, 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 you, we do, you don't we, do everybody. When we do, a, like, a club, we'll we'll say, like, everyone. if you want to stay, we'll do, like, every everybody wants a picture, we'll get one, but that's maximum, like, 300 people. We do, At like, the Wilbur, that's fucking insane. You'll like be there one, for three hours. Like, 150 or something? Yeah, did 300 people at the Wilbur. That's good. Yeah, which yeah. is which just takes forever, but it's fine. It's fine. And then everybody's got a story, and they want to talk. Which like, I love. No, it's sort of oh, like everybody tells a five-minute story. There's nothing better I like than talking to some Minifan than telling me their story. Get the fuck out of here. Write the check and leave me alone. Jesus Christ. I'm rolling around the stage. I'm jumping. I'm fucking surfing. Fucking people. Jesus Christ. Hey, you're too old for that shit. What you do is crazy. Be 50 next You're like Rolling Stones on stage. Jesus Christ, old man. Fucking sit in a chair. Calm down. for God's you loser. How you feeling, Quigsy? Feeling good. Yeah, you feel confident? yeah. You're excited. What, what are your what's your niches? Niche. Niche. It's pretty much Kurt stuff. Yeah, I think he. Mine. I think his niche. But I'm yeah. I'm two and zero oh when I was when I got exiled. I was two and zero. Oh. So like we have really good niches. I'm just fourth in the batting order, and I'll never get to go. Rightfully so, because we have three already stacked. Was it yeah. spring scene? No, I didn't, even, I didn't even use couples. Bruce anymore. Fred couples. Uh, <laughs> uh, Masters. Masters. Best Picture Oscars. Right. Uh, I, I'll mix in occasionally. Eh, I haven't done Bruce. Larry Bird. You did Larry once. Bird, Bruce, yeah. I'll do. But like, say by the bell, I could be lights out, and he could help with too. And that's like our fifth option. It's crazy. Yeah. We could. You never know. You, we may. We you, you mm. never know. We may use that. Mm. Uh, um, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm just. I, you don't look confident at all. No, right no, I'll be guys. honest. This is not a good look. You I'm nervous. Look. I'm nervous. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I didn't sleep at all. I'm legitimately nervous. I'm legitimately <laughs> nervous. I have no. But the problem is, we don't have. <laughs> that there's is no absurd. sense. There's no sense of like uh, you're down eight uh, eight nothing. You call a timeout. They got a bunch of easy layups. Like all right, we're always down. And the huddle yeah. is the huddle is all right, guys. We're good. We're good. Two minutes in. It's just like it's, ah, you first, fucking yeah, first question. It's yeah. fucking. It's over. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. all get. We're all negative. I didn't. That. I don't think I That's realized. I, I didn't that know first of all how good your team was, and that how much you really cared. The one game we played, you guys, and we were up like six nothing, mm -hmm. and we ended up blowing the lead. I, I was just kind of playing. Like, I think I would have had a little more urgency thinking, like, oh, we're about to send fucking Minahan to the train station again. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah. I was like, and after the fact, I was like, wait a minute. Wait, wait, what? No, 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 I want to redo. Because if we just, it was like one, there was like one steal you guys got that changed everything. Won, I mean, if we just like focused a little more, I, I think, think we, we would have run that, your uh, shit. I think we won that double one. You know, the yeah, one yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that changed. That was our kryptonite tonight forever too. we could never get the bonus. Because yeah. mm -hmm. if you get the bonus, we get the bonus, you'll usually get your niche. And then and that's like three extra points or whatever, right? Movies or TV or whatever yeah. it is. And that's I'm like aware of the strategy. Six points. points yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I wrote it. Just, I wrote We're it. all competitive. Anyone, anyone who says they're not competitive is so lying. Who, who is you, uh, who, who is your, like, who are you afraid of? Uh, the, I, I, the only team that could beat us, you're looking at right now. Like, we could beat ourselves. Yeah. That, okay. I, 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 be, okay, I could beat myself. Like, you know, who I, are but you? But they're all, they're all well, one game team. tournament. They're all the same. Macro dosing. We could, we could lose the Macro dosing. Macro dosing is the biggest I, I, fear I of the tournament. We could lose the we I could thought lose they them were like a seconds. teen seed. They're the first. They're the yeah, biggest the, threat the of the tournament. Seed, tournament. And they're the only I'm, threat. I'm surprised the that they are the only threat of the tournament. How many other teams are in the tournament? Why are they not a higher seed? Exactly. Doesn't matter. Conspiracy, ironically. We had an eight and a nine seed in the final four this year. Or a nine and a so five, it's, so whatever. it's eight and a five. So it's uh, who's on that team? Billy? No. no. Um, oh yeah, I thought he is. Girl they call Mad Dog. Uh, oh, Madeline. Thought... Okay. Arian Foster and Big T. Big T's oh, a lunatic. Oh, PFT here. doesn't play on that team. No, he's on. No, he's, he's on, on Brandon's team. Oh, all right. I, I'm, I'm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, so Arian Foster. Yeah. yeah. Is he a nice guy or? He's a nice. Guy. He's nice. Yeah. Not good at trivia. No. I think he's second lowest. He's like me. I don't think everyone's good on that team. I don't think everyone's good on that team. Big T's really good, and then Madeline's good at like the. Face Pop culture. That's shit. gonna be a brutal yeah. loss. Yeah. That is gonna be a brutal loss if we lose that game. That's that's gonna that's be who you're too. facing. And I'm retiring yeah. if we lose that game. Oh, oh, that would be not I'm out. great. If we the only other team in the tournament. What's that? They're the only other team in the tournament. 
Correct. And then if we win, then we worry about the next game. There's one game at a time, and yes. then we go to Chicago. I get it now. In this kind of fun, you'll like, see, what are you see Chicago about? the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hang out the whole time in Chicago. We'll have a great time. Oh, it'll be great. Where is, how big is, that studio must be enormous then, the one they're building. Is it, it must be built, right? The set? The, the, yeah, Chicago. There's, there's some know. art, there's oh. some Chicago. article in like the Chicago business paper. I think it was like 30,000 yeah, square feet. 30, it's like an industrial, 000. like it's, a, it's where you would basically Christ. have like a warehouse from my understanding. Isn't that what like this is? No. This is pretty what big. What is this? Because think about there's the 30,000 square Think about the low ceiling. Maybe with... Think about low two oh, so bigger. Is what, I, I I don't know. I don't. I can't I even suck gauge it. I, I sort of shit. But it's. I think it's. What well, the difference is here? The square footage like is hallways and fucking this and that. This is that is space. a, almost like an Amazon warehouse. Yeah, just open. de facto like yeah. smaller. They just built it. Just they just built open. It yeah. Higher ceilings too. Like yeah, yeah, think yeah. about here. It's like eight feet. It is what it right, is. Right, right, right. For sure. Well, if it tells me must read, it must be read. This show is sponsored uh, in part by BetterHelp. A lifelong process getting to know yourself. Look, I don't know if, we're, if Reed goes on here yet or not, but there's nobody better than that. Better help is where you need to go. Uh, uh, therapy is about deepening your self-awareness. Thinking of starting therapy, I would recommend to give better help a try. People I know and uh, people I know very well are doing it. Uh, entirely online, convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. Fill a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapist anytime for no additional charge. Find more balance with better help. But visit BetterHelp.com slash Kirk10 today. You get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash Kirk10. BetterHelp.com slash Kirk10 today to get 10% off your first month. Are you going to do any of that stuff? Like Dan was saying, everybody has to be on camera. Like, uh, no. I, I, I'm, gonna let, I, I'm not doing anything other than, like, I, I'm not the, in control of anybody here. So I'm just going to yeah. let people do what they do. I want to, uh, I want to bring in new talent and kind of like... Maximize what we've got here for people who I think are just there's just so many people who have no direction at all. When you come to Barstool, it's just like I don't know. And the good of it is that they say like just go do what you want, and the people who can just do it are great. But if you if you need a little bit of direction, a little bit of help, there's nobody. You yeah. know. Yeah. And something as simple as like uh, we like we started like there's all the social accounts now are at Barstool Comedy or something along those lines. Just putting everything in one place so like you get promotion and we'll push it and everybody will kind of you know. Uh, I think having like a schedule of everybody does everybody else's shows. The amount of promote, prom everybody comes into Barstool to promote their projects. Yep. And then we just don't do any of that internally, yep. which is insane. Like people, like movie stars and writers and all, all these people come in because they want our like seal of approval for our fans. And then we just don't do that for each other. Right. Why are there so many great comedians, right? And I think two of them brought to do this. And then they make movies that like aren't funny at all. Like, I know you like Burt Kreischer. That movie's, that, that movie's going to stink. It's not. I, know, I saw, I, I saw it. I, I, know it's, it's, I know you have to pretend to like it. And then no, the guy, it really, it, and then it the actually with, is. the guy with De Niro is going to do it. Fuck, that movie looks terrible. Which, which one? What's is his it? name? Sebastian. Maniscalco. Oh, oh, oh no, right. Maniscalco is going to go like, that's going to be like full mainstream. That's yeah, going to be a smash Yeah, he was one of the last ones. That's what I say about comedians all the time. That's the why. The Kreischer one is good. Like, I like, yeah. I still like Maniscalco because I don't think he jumped into the full Mainstream of yeah, I'm doing a sitcom. That trailer? Oh, now, I'm mean, doing a shitty movie. That movie is that movie's basically yet. a sitcom. That's why I hated yeah, Dan Cook. Is... That's why I don't like Kevin Hart anymore. Yeah. It's like Bert, and Bert, I, I get it. You have I to think Bert is different so it's because like... it's uh, like his story. Like when you're just doing like I'm the husband and like you know, or I'm yeah. the boyfriend. I want I'm chasing the girl. It's like right. what are you doing? Bert's like his own story. It's also like surprisingly, it's like you know, I guess you're, it's no not a surprise to anybody if you're a Bert Kreischer fan that he has issues with his father and like his like his relationship with him but it gets like deep about that shit and was like oh this is is mark hamill's dad is that right in the movie yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and bert's actually like uh it's you know not like we're not talking daniel day lewis but for what right. kind of acting he's doing right it was actually because i expected that to be like sh the shitty part of it yeah but it's actually pretty realistic and as far as a you know absurd movie goes. because we've seen that before like so i mean this is dated but you remember tucker max yeah, that book had me on in tears. Book yeah. was hilarious. Yep, and then and they like made it to Hollywood, and the movie was like completely over they the top. They did a movie. Yeah, they did a know, movie. Yeah. I hope they served. I mean, that's that's completely the, over the, the top. One thing, like, unfunny, like, so. everybody. You know, the money's so fucking. I mean, oh, I don't blame them. If, if you can, if you can sell out for that, like I don't. Yeah. No, I don't, see you I mean, fucking late. I think the last. I think what's impressive about Barstool is that we we did sell out without doing. You know, we've done some cringy shit and some things that I roll my eyes at, but we've never done anything that's like career killer like oh you're a total fucking fraud you know what i mean i think one of the last guys left now a true comedian is still de stefano yeah well he he but see that's a perfect example he was saying like he never got an invitation to rogan until recently 
He mm-hmm. never got like some of the looks and, and appearances on late night and all that shit that other comedians did. So he was like, fuck it, I'll just do it myself. And then by the time he got all those things, he was already rolling. But now how long before he jumps into a sitcom or Well, he's always kinda of, he's done like the T V route a little bit. I think I, I, I think if you do it right, there's nothing wrong with uh I think people who are like, I wanna if there was a comic who was like, I wanna before I'm done, I wanna write like a good sitcom, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's when the network just comes to you and says, you're hot, you have right, followers, right, right, you're big, yeah. let me do it for you. If it's like your story, if it's a Seinfeld, if it's a Larry David, it's like that That actually can become a piece of, you know, of, you know, like classic uh, pop culture. But you got to do it right. Yeah, but and that's do, fucking hard. Do, you got to be, like, I thought be like truly fucking amazing. I thought Davidson's recent thing was pretty oh, good. Oh, you said that was good, right? Yeah. yeah. Because he, I mean, he doesn't. Well, that's because he's a firefighter, you know, connection. All that no, shit. they don't really even. They, they. Speak a little op- more openly than if you know the story about his mom and dad than he right, has right, in right. the past. I thought the movie was completely glorified. I heard this. Uh, I, mean, I saw. I, I know Feilerberg saw. I heard this last Fast and the Furious movie might be the worst movie ever made like in the history of cinema. <laughs> did you, did you I mean, see it or no? No, I didn't see it. I heard I there. Are, I heard there I mean, are parts like, where, like, there are actors filming in like they're in different countries. You can tell they're so like so green screen. Like Brie, Lar- <laughs> Brie Larson's in like Sweden. I and, mean. Like, if you give, if you watch Fast and the Furious and care about that, what are you doing with your life? No, but it's got to be at least. No, it doesn't. Be a, there has no, it doesn't. Some... They literally just no. bring people back from the dead. In what that I'm series. saying is though, like I get that they're going like, to space. Like they're, they're, really? they're they brought they, people they, back from the dead. Yes, people who blew up in cars Paul just Walker? come back in the movie. How did they justify that? <laughs> they just said like he he escaped from the car before it blew up. But like it's just but they, like it, it's almost you're the asshole if you're complaining about Fast and the Furious by now. No, but it's got seven but, movies ago. No, my point. My point is my point is it, sh- it shouldn't look like shit. I think that's what people are saying. I guess if, it, like, if, I, if I, it's I like green I'm screen, not, that, I'm, yeah, I'm not yeah. here for. I'm, I, I'm, not I, I'm surprised by that because it's like I would imagine the budget by this point like, is a billion shot, dollars. I bet, they, I bet you they shot a lot of it during COVID though. Yeah, I guess. I'm like bad. I wouldn't notice that. Really? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't, I'm I don't, like bad with stuff like that yeah. with movies and like unless it's like like the the fire is like CGI and yeah, you can tell I it's not really know. usually. I mean, they're fucking throwing cars through skyscrapers and shit. Usually. I remember watching the scene from Baywatch when I was a kid, and Hasselhoff was uh, arguing with some potential love interest, and there's a shot of her and him, and Hasselhoff had the ocean behind him. And there was a cut to her, and then she had the ocean behind her. <laughs> <laughs> and even as a kid, I was like, "Boy, this doesn't seem to make a lot of sense." <laughs> yeah, but as a kid, I would—I mean, never in a million years. That's why you're. You know, I didn't know book. I wrote that's why you're a fucking lunatic. <laughs> I know, I'm, like, I'm, like I'm, that right there is why you are who you are. As a kid, you were like, mm, like everyone else was like, "Look at the tits," and Kirk's yeah. like, mm, "The, the screen, no the screen editing here is not." Yeah, no continuity. Like, yeah, My dad's very yeah, similar. Yeah, 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 book bleak. film flubs growing up, like a little coffee table uh-huh. book. You. you know, I'll give you a good one. Um, Thank you. Yeah, Field of Dreams, at the end mm-hmm. when uh, Ray, uh, is it? No, no, Ray's the main guy. Who's the brother? Mark. When Mark parks the jeep in front of the. Uh, I can't oh, possibly care less Amy about Madigan's brother. The pole? Tim- yeah, the, Timothy Busfield. Timothy yeah. Busfield. Who's now married the, to uh, Melissa Gilbert from Little House on the Prairie. Awesome story. The car yeah. moves. Her, her story her is not Hold on, I'm not done yet. Awesome. Her, I'm not done yet. Her husband, Little House on the Prairie, mm-hmm. Dean Butler, is now married to the woman who played Donna Martin's mom no. on 90210. Oh, wow. Uh, Fun yeah. fact. Yeah. Well, the car that's moves. One of your the niches. car's not there. Huh? It's a disaster. Uh, 90210 was a big thing for you, right? Yeah, great show. Great show. I watched a little during COVID. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you like, yeah, you guys like practice for this? No, I don't think uh, you can. I wanted to, like I was. But like you, I mean, you could study. sit down and watch fucking nine hundred two and zero, and then yeah, but you know that's I mean? but that's like ingrained for like years. Right, right, it's right, like right. you have things like that. I, I have some yeah, things. No, like I honestly like what like. What I are you good at in trivia? Then you got some answers uh, right together. I, like, I think I'm. I think I actually. Times? What's your favorite movie? What's your favorite? Back movie? to the Future. Okay, how would you do if that was your? I don't. I don't know. When I think when you like. What's the name of the high school? Um. Uh. Yeah, see, like, I don't know, you know, like, I don't watch... It's and... Marty's last name. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, all of the... I think I'm kind of jack-of-all-trades, master of none sort of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, That's probably okay. a good way to go through and life. And the, the only thing I guess I would know is... I, I'm very good at, like, the music that I always get the music. Your error of music. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm even terrible. that, when I'm you start to go terrible. deep, like, some of these... I, when I first started The Dozen, I, like, the first match I did, I was like, these are the kind of questions? I was like... I had at first I was like this is I have no interest in like these tiny minutia from college sports but it seems to be like the right level of difficulty it, it, is, it is crazy it is crazy I've done Jeopardy be boring I've done tri- but right. like that's Je- true I think I'm better at Jeopardy than the dozen 100 percent but yeah. that's what makes this more entertaining right I've done tri- but, that's, but that's what's weird is that it's like I, I'm sometimes I'm surprised like I read the question and I'm like I can't believe anybody, anybody in the that. world is gonna get this well, right and everybody get you know they're obsessed with our personalities a little, little peccadillos and Jeff 
caters through that. So yeah, it's a great that, show. that's yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I, I would absolutely score more points in Jeopardy than I would in the dozen. I was thinking if, if I if I retire, which I'm planning on doing after the trivia this year, win, lose, or draw, and retire. <laughs> I would like to get a picture with everybody who's been on my team. I think that may be difficult. Just the like, biggest. Yeah. 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 Like, well, yeah. that's another thing. I did, like, Steve, I, I did Steve Robinson was on my trivia team. Steve Robinson. <laughs> who we love. I'm surprised you haven't like. Pat was on the team. He never got. Right. He never answered yeah. a question. Yeah. Is yeah, this is this your tough. your dream squad? If you could make your dream squad, two other players, who would it be? I think this. No, this is. I think these. This is okay. Part, now this, give me the real answer. Well, not pretend not they're not here. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, if I could get. Oh my God! What was her name? The one who went to FAN. Krista Chris. If I get her cheating like she did that game, then yeah. perfect. Then she's a 15 point. That always play. that cracked me up. She, that cheating insane. on the dozen is very funny. <laughs> Literally, you can like because again, can... I do care, and I'm not going to pretend not to. I don't care enough to cheat. No, life's there are often fun. times where I'm like, I'm going to text now, guys, right? Because I got other shit to do. Life, life, I'm not really, cheating. It comes down to a morality issue. Like you bring your dog in on a Friday, shit, but, make someone else clean it up, go no, to the dumpster at a classic, make somebody go look for your headphones, cheat on the dozen. I forgot. I forgot. It's morality, Kevin. I know I'm not supposed to be saying that. Watch out for the lightning. I forgot. <laughs> like it's morality. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Oh, every Friday. We you are moral, shit on moral the Were you on our team? At the, oh, that was Pat, right? Pat was. Moral lessons. Rico Basque. Yeah. So what, what happened? She's left and she's done nothing, right? Uh, she's still with Beck QL, I okay. believe. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jeez. Can you imagine going to that company? Ooh, Jesus Christ. Lord. Stock up dealers. <laughs> Imagine, imagine calling me and being like, I'm going to go there and me being like, you're out of your fucking mind. And him being like, oh, I'm going to do that. And me like, if you fucking do that, you're fucking crazy. Can you imagine that scenario? I was crazy. Though. That's the <laughs> so was I. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you read Jason Whitlock's article on McAfee? I talked about it, yeah. Uh, I thought, all time I, I great. Thought, I thought you understood. All time <laughs> piece Dude, of literature insane. right there. I thought I, thought, I actually, I, I know that he has... Somewhere buried beneath there's a sense of humor, but yeah. I, but there was no parody. In there. No, no, that's what's that's well, why it's amazing. What was this like overall? Said it was like worse than like there was a it's in, in the like war, war of eighteen yeah. war in the war of eighteen twelve. General yeah, blah 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 just, turns yeah, turned back on on America and Canada. What are you saying about about McAfee, pa- going about to McAfee selling out? He was like so he was mad at he ESPN said he said there was one there was, mad, there was one McAfee, screenshot probably. that was like this is worse than when LeBron did the decision and went to Miami for a super team, which was like okay whatever sports reference. And then the next paragraph was, this is worse than when General Smith of the War of 1812 turned his back on America. And, and I mean, it was it honestly read like something I would write in a blog in 2010 I to be funny. And, and it would be funny. Yeah, yeah. But when you mean it seriously, it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Did you have much interaction with him? Whitlock? No, no, no. McAfee. McAfee. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say much, but like we talk. So I text like the everyone. Thing, There's big news. We text yeah, a little bit. The, like the, the read I have on him, I know... I mean, I think it he, is what it is. I like, said it for. I, I think there's a lot of athletes who go into media and are like, "When's the paycheck coming? How much?" Yeah. I do think he gives a fuck. So like, oh, no, no, this no, no. is like a, I, a story I said of from success. From the jump, I would and given, Whitlock jumping on him was weird. By the way, I would have given I McAfee Whitlock snap. He's not even worth, I think like, he is and proving it like a star. the number one star in this whole land. By the way, I don't find wrestling to sports. I wish him luck. I'm glad for him, but I don't find him remotely interesting. Yeah, but you're not. You can't. You can't lock into a show like for four, three hours. I I think people underestimate yeah. how much. I'm, I'm a glad. Like I got nothing against I, I, him. Listen, when, when Pat when Pat is doing like wrestling and he's being like an entertainer, I think he's a, a absolute superstar. I think the Pat McAfee show is like four or five, whatever six dudes like just talking like about football. Sport, yeah. But I think you just underestimate. Or I just don't really necessarily care about it as much. The amount of people oh, clearly. who just oh, no, want to do he that wins. I'm for saying, five hours. No, I told you. Also, I, I also had one of the best radio shows when he was here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I really so here's did. the thing. I, I think, I think what he was doing, and I have no knowledge of the situation, but I'm just thinking about how it, it probably played out. I think FanDuel was giving him a fucking shit ton of money, but to run the whole operation yeah, you want to, do to be, that. and I don't think he wanted to do that. Yeah. So when people are like, he sold out to the to the the machine. Well, did, I think it was more. Who cares? Yeah, but it, but I but I also think when you're selling out for like I don't want to be a showrunner anymore. I just want to like be a host and get paid. Also, I think there's a lot more to that. Never like the other thing we like. He's never like a independent bad boy, McAfee. No, this idea he sold out. He wasn't like yeah. He's a fucking played in the NFL and he came here. Like, I, no, like listen, when, when he retired early, people were like, "You're stupid." When he went to Barstool, said you're stupid. When he left Barstool, yeah, he people said you're stupid. He can't win. And but he but he always wins. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, he's all, doing it's, nothing but winning. It's arguably the weakest and most this is Whitlock. Disappointing move in the history of sports. It makes LeBron James' decision to take his talents to South Beach seem as courageous as storming the beaches of Normandy. Jesus Christ. But let's not stop at sports. McAfee's cowardice rivals General William Hull's 1812 decision to surrender Fort Detroit to a small <laughs> band of British soldiers and Indians. President James Madison pardoned 
uh, Hall of Treason and a Death Sentence. <laughs> I mean, this is like when so you double yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's amazing. Great. That's, great. that's, like, that's have... like me saying R- Rivera is a murderer and yes. just leaning yes. in and leaning yes. in. It's just like you, Rico. It's all about you every time. <laughs> no, it's an insane fucking. It's same as yeah. your blog. It's no, the same but that, thing. But that's, I mean, but that's, that's just leaning in. like looking up something in the war. It's putting on a Viking suit and storming the Capitol. Yeah. But that's very funny, though. That's funny you wrote it. But he keeps he keeps doubling down on like how Disney's his home of like child Well, that's what the headline first. said. Like Pat McAfee. What am I missing? Rapists at Disney. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what happened? And he just uh, meant that you know the hardcore right wing. What do you think about uh, Bill Gates getting outed? Oh uh, yeah, your guy Epstein. I huh? was yeah. ready, to, ready to take him down. My guy Epstein. Oh, what? you've always you were always pro Epstein. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah. What was it? He was with like a what was it like a chess? He, he, player? Yeah, uh, he uh, a bridge a Russian bridge player. Right. And uh, yeah, he was like fucking her and. Well, Gates was on Epstein's uh, flight uh, like Epstein, 70 times. Epstein wanted to start a Under massive uh, charity with like the most high net worth individuals right. in the world to rehab his image from when he first got caught being like right. a pedophile. And they, he like he had to land Bill Gates to please J.P. Morgan. And Bill didn't want to do it and was like, all right, well, I'm going to – like if you don't pay me the amount of money that I paid for her to go to coding school – like you know what's gonna happen. I would say as well. Just about, like go fuck yourself. I've read. I've like, I'm that, a billionaire. I, I've, yes, I cheated on my wife. Like, I've yeah, read you know. books about Epstein. I've watched documentaries. I still have no idea how he made his money. Like nobody's ever well, just stole fucking. Well, but yeah, but we're talking. Like, you, see, you see the size of the place he had in Manhattan? Yeah, it's like a fucking block long. Well, like, that was also. Wait, are you talking about Epstein or Ep- no, Gates? no, 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 Gates. Gates, Epstein, Epstein. Okay, Epstein. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's because he was fucking like extorting people. And well, shit. I know, but still, it's all like, criminal activity. I, yeah. I guess you don't, you're not, that's not going to be on the books. You think Bill Gates gave him? You think Bill Gates gave him like? You think Bill Gates gave him like ten billion dollars? I don't know if it's him necessarily, but you get a bunch of people to you know give you one. I guess if you have a if you have a party where a hundred people fuck a hooker or a kid and they all give you a million dollars. Bingo, bango, bongo. Jesus, I guess. Fucking it is wild. weird. Wild. I don't know. What else? Are you guys ready or what? Ready. Yeah. You sure, Rico? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you either know it or you don't. I it's don't like, know. I feel like test. you guys. Uh, no, don't do this. The, the don't, one don't, thing don't, I will don't, say don't, about don't my team, you know, I, you know, I don't think anybody looks at us and says, like, oh, these guys are going to win the dozen. But we go in loosey-goosey, ready to rock, because... We're all just kind of yeah, having man. fun, and we yeah. know we Who know cares, you guys. Man. Just the lights go guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 Look, yeah. you see that guy right there? That's a nervous guy yeah. looking off to the no, sky. I wish I, I, wish I was, I was, I was like your team. Off. Who cares, man? Yeah, we'll just have some fun. Yeah, man. Fuck we're that. just we're counterculture, bro. Fuck, you fuck know? that. Yeah, if you're you're there to win, they're keeping score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just don't think we care as much as you guys. So you guys, like, that's a bad thing. I've also said this, and you guys weren't here earlier, so I want to put pressure on you. If we lose this game, I'm giving up a mini golf championship from Arizona. You're giving it up? Yes, Dave can have it. I, he finished in second place. I am not the mini. I, I am wow. surrendering my mini golf title. <laughs> wow! This is how a man of honor. Yeah. Truly, yes. a man of honor. By the way, Portnoy was the biggest bitch during that mini golf thing. You remember that? I do remember that. He's like four putted the second, and the entire he's like, I was in his head. I was in his head. Like for the next three hours. No, was it, you, was it, you, you, you don't no, say. Even Dave, by, even Dave by was his, spinning that, something that, in his, his favor standard, after a poor his performance. That scene standard. of him, Dave, and then Whitney coming out of the clouds. Yeah, all men, all like really well to do, like made their money. Do not have to be playing mini golf as yep. a competition screaming at well, each that's other why it works. unreal that's yeah why it works. Uh, you gotta, i mean you're there to, again you're there to I, I think what you said is right though like i very rarely and i don't think many people think through a dozen question and arrive at the answer you either know it you or you know don't you know. right yeah. maybe you get some help from a teammate where it's like oh i know his name and you yep. know the movie or something like that but it's like I usually check out. No I read real, the question like, and I'm like, okay, guys. And it's yeah. too much. You info, got this one. I don't. Like, yeah. we're a little weak in baseball, so it's like, all right, take like, let's say, starting in 2002, go through every All Star rock. It's like 20 years. How much of that are you gonna? Now, wait, you just, this, is, this is my first time. You just can't really you study. Just, you just know where. This is go. my first tournament taking it seriously. Do you phone a friend? You can. But yeah. then, like, I think people help out. Yeah, nobody's. Yeah. By the way, nobody's ever. People no, answer questions ever for another team, team not one time. even no, though they're in the tournament. They do, which is weird. But I feel like this year it may like. Yeah. Like I don't know. If well, it, you might I remember Ken Jack might. walking in and saying, "Go fuck yourself." Yeah, I feel that like that's gonna good. happen that a lot. I mean, I, but you might want to help a team. Let's say, let's say, for instance, I think Kevin's team is beatable, right? Yeah. And say it's close, and I'm there. And it's a movie question, and you phone me. I'm like, well, if it helps them win, shit. Yeah, right, right. So yeah, you're you're gonna have to face somebody, and if you think you can, you can. But if it's like. I don't know if, if if you don't care about your next round matchup or if it's not your you know it's just weird to be helping yeah. people Especially in the same there. tournament yeah the, you know the, the, I guess it'll happen though right yeah, yeah. I guess I, I think know. this is the first year that people are all everybody's taking it seriously like last year I I was in the playoffs but I was not thinking about that so yeah. I don't know I'll show up and play did Jeff that. sleep here what time did he get here uh, this, this is I was texting him yesterday he's all I, worked up I, with those I, shirts oh, you can't even I it's, it's when 
when Jeff D. Lowe, I said it's like my wife trying to get ready for like a, a family event. Like yeah, very you get the spray tan. Everything. Just pray to when God you don't get hit in the face with a fucking. Object. I remember seeing Jeff before the one of these live things. Oh, it was the one in Arizona, and I walked in to talk to him, and he turned around. He had the spray tan. He had the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. he had those this morning. He does it. <laughs> he well. I was like, wow. When he uh, special. yeah, he when is. he cried. Well, no, after, he's here. He can't be the, He's actually in the building. Last right year or two years ago, whatever. Both, I think. Yeah, when he cried, like after the finale, that and, was, like, thanking that was, the fans that was and, and the people. That picture of him, like, that was great. Oh my god! I can't, I, that that doesn't get enough play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm like this, is so fucking good. Is that, but that's all time that's classic. Like, that's objectively like funny to see somebody with no perspective. It's always funny. Oh, always. Somebody, but also it's the only way something like this works. Correct. Having oh, yeah. him and then everyone else take it too seriously. It's like yeah. that. It's like that blubbering baby this weekend. Michael Block, that loser club pro. Who I'm fucking sick of. <laughs> cried his way through the entire weekend at the PGA. The guy cried more times than fucking Demi Moore and Ghost. <laughs> Did you watch any of this or not? Nah, you saw it. The guy yeah, said you how great it was. This fucking guy. Is you don't think good. that's a cool story? It's fine, but he's like, again, I, I said this to Dan earlier. So he's a club pro. Okay. The PGA Championship was this weekend. Yeah. Uh, Brooks yeah, yeah. Any of these guys get in. Like an amateur. 20 guys. Yeah. No, 20, like, you know, the local guy at your club pro sure. shop. They have a tournament. The top 20 guys get in. This guy has played in 20 tour events. He's already won tournaments. He's won like $75,000. And he's crying. And like, and he finished 15th, but like every time they asked him questions, he would be like, he would act like he's never even seen a golf ball. Right, in his life. right, like, right, right. At one point, they're like, you're playing with Roy, Ra- Roy McElroy tomorrow. And he like turned around and walked away. He goes, like, Are you serious? Am I really? It's like, yeah, you're tied for eighth. Yeah, bro. Like, like who do you, who get do you think, with the fucking program who do you think you're here. playing with? And then yeah, he, made, yeah. he made a hole in one, which was great. He flew in on the fly. The place was going, you saw it. Yes. Bananas. It was great. Uh, Roy McElroy is like 30 yards away. I told the story earlier. Runs up and hugs bl- uh, Block. And Block's like, did it go in? It's like, no shit. Oh, it's 20 He's playing a little bit of the hapless yeah. loser. Like. And then Jim Dance the whole time was like, this is like a... He's like, in a bar Jim Dance like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jim Dance like, this is going to be like a movie someday. I'm like, a fucking movie. This is going to be a guy finished 50. Uh, I, I was going to say, <laughs> did, you, did you see Air? Yeah. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was great. I, I the most, how, everyone's the most saying it's like unspectacular. It's like Critics Nike uh, offered him equity. Right. And so he yeah. took it. Like, right. that's really that, it. How about that fucking speech Damon gives him at the end? How bad is that? Oh, so bad. And then, and I hated the way they cut Jordan's clips into it. Weird, yeah. Like the whole movie, they make sure you don't see right. Jordan, and it's such a thing. Yeah. And then during the big moment where it's a one-on-one thing where he connects with his mom, we show highlights that have not yet even, even happened, happened yet in the world. I of thought this it was movie. a perfectly then there like, was like an average was, TV movie. The, the, the yeah. Phil Knight thing, when he first walks in and goes, I, I, "I'm a CEO of a billion-dollar company, but I'm here for you today." Must have been like a verbatim true story. Like he must have well, done have, that. They, but in that's real the other thing is there were no because that was so yeah. weird. There's also no stakes because they made they were making all the shit of the money in track and field. So I'm like, it was just one, the basketball. Division. At one point, they're sitting like, around. We're going to shut down this one wing of Nike that doesn't really. In the first half matter. hour of the movie, they're like, like what big idea are we gonna have? Because they have all this money allocated to draft picks, and like how are we gonna afford? Them? How are we gonna afford? Them? And Matt Damon walks in. He's like, I figured it out. We're just gonna pay him. Yeah, we're I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna like, get one of the top like, three picks like, instead of spending it on three or four lower that, picks. And that, oh, and that terrible scene where they have all the names up. One of the guys is like, "Who's that, John Stockton?" I'm yeah, like, what, what the yeah. fuck? I, I, hate I, I shit really, like that. I, I hate that's shit. why I asked because yeah, that was I average. thought I heard a lot of good shit. And oh, I watched it. And I was like, "This feels like a lifetime." And movie. then it's weird with, with bomb. Bomb fucking shell yeah. name. I thought it was a good know, TV move. Just a little bit as a sneaker guy. You know that's not the exact totally. one. Totally. And also they, they didn't it with have the white. Nothing and to Tinker Hatfield. And it was, he it was didn't wear it for a little while either. He there wore was a whole, Converse and then he The only the thing I think that people, the, 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 we'll pay the, the fines, I think, was the one thing that Nike did that was kind of like, ooh, all right. Which is smart. It. Yeah. it was great business. Affleck, right. I wanted to, and I like Affleck. I like hated Affleck's character in that. Yeah. It was like, hey guys, I want you to know I walked in late. Like it was just so cringe. That was so cringe. That whole scene was, I thought, fucking terrible. I, that's not Matt Damon and Ben Affleck back together. I don't know if that's And then like I'm not a, a big, thing. like... No, 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 no. I'm always amazed when they show the side-by-sides of a movie, like that Johnny Depp actually looked like George Young, and those right. guys, like in movies and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But knowing Sonny Vaccaro, Damon doesn't really look like Sonny Vaccaro. No. I mean, he's Matt Damon. That he's kind like, of bothered Sonny Vaccaro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like, kind of me yeah, it's a weird name. That never, like, that never matters to me. Like, oh, how's this guy going to play this guy? It's like... Who cares if they look like anything? It's a it's a movie. It's a fictitious yeah, you're, portrayal. You're, 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 you're like, you don't have to look like them. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought, like I said, was, did you watch on Amazon? Yes. Yeah, it was just all right. Yeah. I, I, but I go now. I go in as I've gotten older. Like I go in not wanting to like a movie. Like, yeah. I'm just, I, I mean, no surprise. But I mean, yeah. I'm just like I'm getting more. I don't <laughs> like. Are, I don't like almost, anything anymore. I don't like any yeah. TV. I like nothing. Nothing. I, I, that's just getting older, bro. I know, I mean, but like, I'm like, like, I'm like when, this when, when this people, sucks. when people like you know, you. I th
I was surprised by it. Is, is it nominated for Best Picture? Nominated for Best Picture? Yeah, that's like when that was happening, I was like, this is a great um, like action flick. Yeah, it's the, just the like. The flag scenes are cool. It's Top Gun yeah. again. The other scenes are ridiculous. Like, right. The Jennifer Connelly stuff is I, uh, I was surprised by that, and that got like critical acclaim. Yeah. That felt like some weird Tom Hanks or uh, Tom Cruise Scientology, like we have to say this sort of shit. I can't tell you the last movie. I was like, I, I love this movie. I, that's sucks. just getting older, bro. I, it, when, Maybe, people, when people are like, why do you hate everything? I'm like, you're 18, aren't you? Like, you just like the world still. I guess. I mean, but I came like also, a TV show. I, I actually like movies pretty much like every movie I watch. I'm like, eh, that was fine. But for me to like really like a movie, the bar is still TV? high. Yeah, but you like like that Game of Thrones one that just came out. But even that is like, that's okay. I just oh, want to okay. get really? I, I don't think like it's, that does that? not compare. I just to want to get excited to go to a movie. Top Gun Maverick, I thought was great. Was that much better because it was like You're at the it's movies. a true movie? Yeah. yeah. But I think there's a big difference between like I watch that and it was okay versus like I would rewatch it. I would go see it again. I would put it on my list. I would argue about it. I would you know. There are movies so I like, used to go see four or five times. When I was younger. I would yeah. never. I mean, but I don't think that's the movies. Old. I think mean, that's yeah yeah. 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 Comedies You're just bitter are and completely. jaded. Well, and comedies like, are dead. I can't comedies. rewatch any of them well, anymore. I, what do you? I I movie mentioned that a lot totally with all like the comics that we have come through here, and I like. I don't know what it takes to revive that, but whoever does it is gonna make a fuck ton of money. The only problem is the only problem with that is, is you just, can't be funny anymore without not like A and B. Like you can just watch it at home. Like there's no real. But even that, like, like, like you can Top still Gun, Top Gun, Maverick, Spider Man, you got to go. Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy, yeah. like. Oh, but, I still but think there's, something, there's, there's I, other ways to succeed. Like, yeah, like yeah. the box office maybe isn't there, but if you, I, you know, these streaming services are still paying big money. Like some somebody who's really funny. Should just be like, I'm gonna Judd Apatow this shit. I'm well, it looks like Jennifer the Lawrence. Best is, looks fucking... like Jennifer Lawrence doing a super dirty yeah. comedy this summer. But even that felt like. Oh yeah, I don't know, but it feels. But that it feels... was that. That one is wild. It's just like but she's also... like a whore who's just like fucking a high school kid. But also yeah. feels like look. It also it feels like she's doing this on purpose. Like, That's I'm what be I. Wild. This is my chance to be like. Yes, wild. and I think that movie is doing it too. Like we're gonna say what was said 20 years ago, but even harder. And it's like, well, now you're kind of. The doing last movie the comedy reasons. I really liked was um what you it was pre pandemic I think it was the. Oh, no, I'm blank. It's like it was like the middle school version of Super Bad. I really good liked boys. Good boys. Yeah, that, that was funny. That's very a funny. Funny. really funny, funny. That movie. Was funny. Very funny. Yes. Yeah. That was a fun. That was, that was funny one movie. of the last ones I remember. But like, why? Really why can't that? that? Like everybody agree. Everybody quotes those movies. Still likes those movies. Everybody talks to death about how the comedy is dead. dead right. And then nobody fucking makes them. Meanwhile, com comedians are bigger than ever. That's what I'm saying. Right. And so, like, so, it, you know, if if the right guy like bankrolls it and doesn't like overdo it or insert himself into it or just like who are the really good funny writers well, a, get the good actors the problem is we've lost Apatow like he's just snapped yeah. like he just doesn't do shit but like he, he was that great of a comedic mind that nobody else can fucking no, do I agree. it but, but like where's Seth Rogen like, you know, that's what I'm saying those, those guys I guess a lot of these guys do go political it's like see Jim Carrey this weekend by the way Doing the like, <laughs> Christ of Church shit. Yeah. When yeah, did that? that? Did you see that? I I, I, I didn't saw know, like, that. A clip of no, it. Nothing it against religion, off. Rico. We're all here. We all we all serve under one Lord. That, that was that. that was, what was the exact was, quote? It was like he was Christ speaking. suffered uh, for our sin. Like, I thought it was, it was so like hard. I thought it was like an Andy Kaufman bit. Like, yeah, I yeah. Was, no, that I thought he it was he's been through the ring. Can you talk about your asshole again? Like I thought that. Yeah, right. That he goes suffering leads to salvation. Christ on the cross suffered and was broken to the point of doubt and absolute abandonment. Rico says before. Then he looked <laughs> upon the people causing that suffering with forgiveness, and that opens the gates of heaven. Can you do like, what, can you okay, do, dude. Can you do liar, I never liar went or full something? Blown, yeah. like, you're acting like I went full-blown like religious, whatever. I just leaned on the fact of, like, count your blessings, don't count the darkness a little bit more. What happens oh, when you Jesus die? Jesus Christ. What? what happens when you die? Probably going to hell. Who knows? No, no, no. I know you're going to hell. No, I mean, what, <laughs> what happens to the average person who's lived a good life? In your mind, when they die, what happens? Does something leave their body and float up? No. What happens? I don't know. I don't really What's wanna, your theory? I, I said it all He doesn't time. want to speculate because he doesn't want to, you know. <laughs> I think you, yeah, yeah. I think, I, I think you go up to there. Do not take the Lord's name in vain sort of shit. Sound, you, sound, you, might, you might have a little bit of a wait. It's like a club. you got to wait a little while to get in. Does that mean, does it, it just always sounds crazy Once right you away. get in. I mean, maybe you're a religious guy. Absolutely Why is ridiculous. it bad to just like want to believe certain things might happen? Like it's no, not no, really gonna happen, but, you, but like but, just. But imagine the somebody walked up to you and just said that. You'd be like, "Would you believe that if you were a juror?" In no, court? but I mean, That's just but having that idea I hope it is happens. positive. Like, it's yeah, not look, bad. I saw it with my parents. Like, there was a lot of religion toward the end, so they re which I completely understood. Right. But like, I just intellectually would love for. I'm jealous. I I'm envious. I of wish. People well, I'll give you the religious. one thing that I've been fascinated with since I was like six years old. Truthfully. Right now, whatever you're thinking of, you're Kelly probably Kaposta. thinking, "When the fuck is this show gonna end?" You're thinking about golf. Whatever. I don't think he's thinking. Whatever we're thinking about right now. Bomb goes off, wipes us all out. Those thoughts, don't you? What happens? Do your thoughts just shut off? This, com this you comforts just, you. This serves as comfort. No, for it's you? not it's comfort. Confused. It fascinates me. I when, think I think so you just go black. Yeah. 
Go I know you go black, but you are you become it, you so become then, worm food because you're done. You're done. Okay, the thought, you thinking and your thoughts and your process, that just shut. How does that? How does it tell well, you? Well, the thing shut that off? creates that is fucking massacred by the bullet that just went in the your head. Like it's about? over. What are you talking about? We're fucked today. I don't know. We're absolutely. Yeah. Hey, you guys are not in the. What time do you play? Rico, this might all be fake, by the way. This what time do you play? Yeah, fair enough. This could be somebody's dream. The we things no you're idea. thinking, I'm just saying, like everything you you're oh, thinking about, you? you're just. I got. I got to go. Go. I got to take pictures in ten minutes, and then I'm playing at eleven thirty. Give you ten. It's just done. Yes. What do you think happens? I I know you're. What do you think the difference between being alive and dead if this shit keeps going? You're a philosophical guy, Quiz. I think it still keeps going. Just up. Oh, I think it's over. You think it's over? Yeah. I think everybody, like my kids, like no, no. That religion, every generation gets less, less and less. And less. Uh, I mean, are your kids gonna even? No. Do you, did you? Are you Catholic? Yeah. Yeah. Are you, did you do like uh, the sacraments and all that shit with your kids? The first communion they did, yeah. No confirmation and all that. Uh, Kate was not confirmed. No. I'm like, I want. I if I could get my kids out of the Catholic school and and I think that'd be a good idea. All that shit, I want to do. But it they got very, a stranglehold very, on very sports. Just, really. All around here. Do yeah, they, I mean, they got all the gym times. Whatever, man. Um, um, I couldn't get past the massive. I, I'm not going to the do massive it. raping. I could just. Well, yeah, that's the fact yeah, that they always just move them around. I, I, yeah, what was that story yeah. the other day? Like in France, they're going to have a QR yeah, code. Have a yeah. Code now for priests to make. You sure You think we'll not, eventually? Yeah. So wait, what? <laughs> they're going to put a QR code on each priest so you can to find, you can scan. See it if they're a sex offender or yeah. not. They just shut down all Albany. The Archdiocese is going to shut down in Albany because they owe so much money. Yeah. Do you think we're eventually going to? They're going to allow priests to be married. Yes. They fucking should have done it 200 years ago. It's the only thing that would make it I mean, semi-normal. Here's the problem. is like you have these old school. If you Let's say you went to a, a Catholic church. But, but that's church. like that. The, the last of that's dying, like this generation. Yeah, but but you think if you think if priests suddenly get, like some priest suddenly gets allowed to get married, a bunch of guys are going to be like, oh, I'm going to be a fucking priest now. No. No, no, no. But still, but still like, I don't know. Job. There would be Ooh, like there's no money. 5% more maybe. I don't know. It would, it, there's at least one less roadblock or at least. How about if you let priests marry like underage boys? <laughs> then, 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 then the, the fucking. Then, 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 your business floods in but it's, it's just i i can't i could never the fact that anybody takes any advice from a priest is fucking insane yeah. this person who lives a completely irrational normal the most uh, like out of touch uh, life. not normal they've yeah. never had to provide for a meal they never had to worry about paying Don't, a mortgage they, they definitely like, yeah. when, when you get when you go to marriage counseling that's right. crazy for a priest yeah, it's crazy. They, they're not allowed to do it this used to happen this used to happen all the time insane. like 40 50 years ago priests married right married couples would go talk to their priest I think they, they don't know let anything it be about a guy, like let it be a guy in the neighborhood who that's his like hobby. Why, Why don't you do it? What do you mean? For the neighborhood. Like all right, Father Bosco? Bosco? Sitcom. Father Bosco. That's a sitcom <laughs> right there. Watch you, you know, those tweets in the morning are like, you know, Sunday I sermon. That those. feels like what's his name? Uh, Chuck Lorre. Lorre. That feels Not like a CBS. That feels like a CBS sitcom. Father yeah. Bosco. Father Chuck Bosco. I'm just saying a guy in the back you trust like all right, it's a pretty good guy. Like let just let him be a priest. He does the how eleven o'clock think, how and the you three o'clock. Make your own goddamn decisions. Like, yeah, what fair did, enough. You know, if you if you, like, if you like your Bible, go. People want to believe in things. A guy in the train in the row in front of me this morning had his uh, on this tablet had the uh, a bunch of religious stuff, and he looked very calm. I was like, what a nice way to go through. Oh, life. I I wish I could, but I just, it's just I have a brain, I have a functioning brain. Yeah, oh, oh, you oh, you're that dismissive of religion. Pretty much, yeah. Because Rico's a super religious guy. Yeah, I mean, he's you know a Catholic Irish Catholic guy from. Uh, you were uh, church uh, yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I knew guys who were like despicable humans who would Every wake Sunday. up Sunday morning in some, you know, some chick's apartment, right. fucking stumble out in a neighborhood he doesn't, he's not from and find a church. Yeah, of course. You know, yeah, yeah. that way, For but then you're, then you're exempt though. You, you, yeah. You, well, you, you said sorry you and you're good to go. Way. My best, one of my best friends, Andy Nolan, is a great guy. Uh, his family's religious. He goes to church every day still. Every day. Every morning he goes to church. I, I think, I think it's Feidelberg's grandparents did not go on Sundays because they were like, that's like that's when the rookies show that's a up. Common I go yeah, 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 I go six yeah, yeah. days a week and you know let the rookies go on Sunday. I've been texting with Feilerberg recently. Oh yeah, yes, we've become text buddies a little bit. Wow. We haven't talked in forever. He doesn't text anybody. That's we, we that's text each other remarkable. Random because he he meant to text me, but I changed my number. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. So he that, actually I, asked me for it the other day. I texted him I back, said, and now we're, now we're because I told you this. I've said this before. He has the best attitude of anyone at the company. Nothing bothers him. I don't think. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, but I because I genuinely believe he does. Oh really? Well, now you're disappointed. <laughs> Usually, it doesn't seem like he really cares that much. He stays I, out of the drama. That's what I mean, though. No, like, so I'm, I'm, I'm saying that. I'm saying I, I admire that. I, and I'm saying I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. I'm not being sarcastic. Okay. You say you think he I, does I, care. I, yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm oh, saying. Oh, you agree? I am agreeing that it's the best 
mindset. Because yes, so. the amount of shit that people get bent out of shape out of in this place. Did this dog die or no? I was confused by yeah, that. Yeah, I think he did. Oh. You I, think he did? You didn't reach out to him? He that? did word to. his. If that was, was an like RIP a leash post, or something. It yeah, was very it, bad. It, yeah. Because the, the, the whole way through, I thought, thought it was about the leash. The last I the did. leash was yeah. finally <laughs> last strand yeah. gone. So the dog yeah. did that. Yeah. was like, all right. No, you didn't reach out to him? I, I forgot to. I, I like oh, was Jesus. about to text him and I didn't. And then I forgot to. I never know what to do with dogs, with people. Like, I feel like that's. If you're not really good friends with them, you have to text if they're dogs. No, I don't think so. I was going to do with him, but I'm just saying there's a level where it's like. Yeah. Maybe it's your. I don't know. Is your best friend, you text with their dog dies? I should have. I should have. I, I was going to, and then I just didn't because I, you know, something popped up, and then I forgot to. So I feel bad about that. It's like his dog here in New York, or is that no, no, no? It's like his family it's dog. You like a dog guy though? You're a dog guy, right? Yeah. But I'm Are like, you? I'm not a fucking weirdo not, about it. Like, I will say in my in my older years, just like everything else, like the the fun, like get to pet them and hang out with them, does not really outweigh. The fucking 5 a.m. walks and the 11 o'clock oh, at night in the rain. Can't go away on vacation. The thousand, or yeah, yeah, yeah. thousand yeah. dollar right. vet bills. And I got to get home for the like dog. It's like a 200 pound greyhound. Oh, yeah. that's insane. And it's just like. It's, and also, once you have kids, like the people who are like, it's like having a. It's not. It's no. Just, it's, oh, I'm my sorry, God. It's people just, who say it's like having a dog. It's like a having baby. a third of a kid. It's, it's, it's like having a. A hundredth of a kid. Yeah, it's I mean, like it's... you sometimes have to leave the bar early to walk your dog, <laughs> but if you want to leave it alone for like seventy-two hours, it'll be okay. Your dead, your kid, your kid's dead if you do that. I your dog's my, fine. I find myself, as, especially with okay, with, with their swim meets and Harry when he's a bad at baseball, I get so nervous. Not like yelling or screaming. I get so nervous for them. Oh my god! Like I can't even. Dude, when Keegan, like when Keegan's at the plate, like, I'm I like. Can't... Just please make it get a hit. Please yeah. make contact. Please make contact. By the way, they like, by the way, they don't even really care that much. Like not not no. as much as I do. Like, How about this? My when when did you do kid pitch? Like play like kids pitching? Uh players pitching. No. Nah. Oh, the first year? Yeah. It's like eight or nine. Eight. Yeah. I think eight, Harry was eight. Or eight or I feel like eight and they my, limit the my, walks, my. which is a really bad rule because like oh, they, they limit it to let's say three walks in an inning, but then the fourth kid. When their walks is maxed out, that kid's getting seventeen ball. It's like, bro, Clancy can't throw strikes. Like, we let's let's go. Uh, the problem, the problem is these games take my, forever. My yeah, uh, my brother is out in California, and his his kid is seven, and they're doing kid. Well, it's pitch. California. California is a little yeah. easy. Get like Tommy. But like, I think, I think I think the league my kids are in is like second or third grade. Because like, like, like nine, nine, or nine, they can't even have play catch, yeah. let alone hit a fucking well, box. That's the funny thing yeah. that at that age, I still remember like if a guy I would coach those teams and. Like all I want is my for my kid, and my team to hit the ball on the left side of the infield. There's no fucking way they're gonna throw them out of the first safe base. every time. It yeah. would never happen. I mean, we, we we're still doing like everybody just hits through the order. Oh, you go through, and, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. But and it, you get five pitches, and if you if you can't get a hit, you get the T out. And I'm always just like, just don't get the T. That's, that's and that he really worst. doesn't. He rarely does. And I'm like, but I mean, I get. Oh, I can't even imagine once they the they're, they're playing. Pitch? Yes. Well, it's on the coaches. Our, our, our coach. at all times. The coach should after one swing. Figure out where their swing is. Right, right. You should. It's but I mean, coach, it's but. he. Our coach Keegan's been hit by the pitch like four times this year with the coach pitching. Nice, <laughs> bro. Come on. Should be like uh, it should be like home run derby. You get to pick like I go out there and pitch to my right, kid. Yeah, Everybody yeah. pitches to the kid. They should do that. You should have a day where the dads pitch to all the. Uh... I mean, I know, like you said, it's like I've thrown to him in the back of the backyard a million more times. Coach the team then. So honestly, it's funny. I this guy we practice from six thirty to eight at night. Because he gets He's off working. work late. Yeah. And I was like, if I knew that was an option to just cater to my work schedule, I honestly might have. But I was like, I, I can't get to practice at like 4 o'clock. I'll get there when I can. Now I'm like, I could I could have. Because yeah. he just makes the whole team come at fucking 8 o'clock at night. It's freezing at night when the sun goes down. The kids are tired. The I'm like, what are we doing the here? Worst. It's the fucking worst. Awful. But, yeah, anyway. All right. I'll let you go. Go take All your right. pictures. I'll talk to worst you. Worst of luck to you guys tonight. No, good luck. I'm rooting for you. Pipe down, Bosco. Spring is here, and Milton's a store for men. He's brought in everything you need to make it through the summer. Uh, spring collections from Tommy Bahama, Vineyard Vine, Johnny O. Uh, even new collections for Peter Millar and Faraday. South Shore Plaza, Braintree, Chess Hill Square, Chestnut Hill. Or the Burlington Mall location. Or shop online at Milton's.com. New arrivals in dress and casual shoes from Colon, Johnson & Murphy. Uh, the buy one, get one free suit event continues to roll on right now. Suits from Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren. As I said, all on sale. Three locations. Brain Tree, Chestnut Hill, and their newest one in Burlington. Again, go to Milton's.com. At Milton's, you'll be as comfortable in our stores as you'll be in our clothes. Go to Milton's right now. All right, we'll take a few more minutes here. Any final thoughts, guys? I'm excited. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you seem excited. Quick. A little nervous. We got to get Level-headed, but excited. You can't be. If, if, if any of these games already finished or not, do we have any uh, idea? I, one of them did. I think so. Oh, we can't spoil it. No. Uh, will I be pleased or displeased or not care about that? I don't think you'll give a fuck about it. I don't care one. about it. 
Because it doesn't matter. And these other games matter. No. Yeah. All right. Did the jerseys get here? The or jerseys got here. Nice. Yeah. Jeff said the jerseys got here. Did you see well, mine? I wasn't looking for Have you heard about mine? No, what is it? I think it's got all the names crossed out. Oh, really? <laughs> it's all the way <laughs> down. It. Well, this is the team. This is the team I want. These. This is. This is. This is the team. I feel pretty good. I have no idea. I don't know anything about macro dosing. Nothing. It's gonna come down to bonus. It's gonna come down to. Can we just not? Can they not sweep us in a sports category? Is our bonus today? Do we know I don't if know. it's? No, no idea. We I really. What do you rather have? I'd much rather have the whiteboards. I like the I whiteboards. Agree. I agree. Because you jump on each other and, like, it's... I agree. We do better. And you don't get fucked if it's just a category you don't know. Right. Like, if it's, like... Right. I think we do better. I also think Tom's on, too. Like, when he puts that up there, like, last year he put... Remember, or the first year I did with you with Steve. Or last year, whatever it was. It's, like, t- the biggest cities with two oh, or less yeah, sports that. teams. And you're, like, what? Yes. Like, well, that, so oh, that was last year. Remember, right away we both panicked. That yeah. Us. We were dead I'm, like, Phoenix? Point. I don't yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. know. Like... I would have said Brooklyn because they only have one, but does that count? Like, yeah, once a, that's the problem with that. Is once that ball gets rolling, you're fucked. And then your yeah. brain starts spinning. Oh, you're already giving me nightmare scenarios. <laughs> Jesus Christ, anyway. All right. Uh, anything else, Colony? No, I'll do it. Any criticism yeah. of Colony lately, Rico, or no? No, I play, you know, we play in. Okay. I hear, I hear a lot of calls criticizing him. <laughs> yeah, but you're okay with it. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. He does a good job. How did you feel about the Save by the Bell television movies after the series was done? The Marriage, Hawaii? Well, no, those were. Uh. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so they were a TV movie it made, made in for, the sense that NBC ran it. They were a two-hour NBC. Right. Yes. But now, like, what sucks is that when they break, they put them on when the, they break that up into four episodes, yeah, yeah, it's pretty, disastrous. that's pretty disastrous. fake. It's not like those. Um, not like Wedding a, in Las Vegas was way better than Hawaiian style. I will about, say that. How about college years? I watched because it was on primetime, but I don't recall a lot. Yeah. Or any of it, really. Uh, I know they had the... Um, the football they, player they guy. Golick's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Golick's brother. Uh, yeah. Bob Golick, right? Bob Golick. Yeah, they had Golick. They had the two girls who were horrific. But then Alex they brought they brought him back. They brought back uh, Tiffany Amber Thiessen came back that year, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. During the season. Yeah. Because she didn't start there. It was so bad. Yeah. And then Lasky, why did I... The professor was in Better Call Saul? I think you might be right. <laughs> I think you might be right. And the, uh, like the school... Basically, the building of the school, the woman, has been in everything. She's been like five. She's in um, How I Met Your Mother. No, yeah. I'm sorry, the other one. Um, Big Bang Theory. Two and a Half Men. Right. Yeah, she's been in. I forget her name. Yeah, he's in Better Call Saul. Patrick Fabian. How old is he now? Uh, he's 58. Did they fool around with Kelly on that show or no? Oh yeah. <laughs> he's a professor. <laughs> yeah. What the she time? babysat the kids. What a time. <laughs> yeah. Zach had to get her back. They were Zorro. That's right. They, they did them thing. I gotta tell you, Mark. I, I told you I'm rewatching. So Mark Paul Gosselaar was excellent on NYPD Bro, Blue. Excellent. excellent. I asked my dad. I'm like, is this? He was like, he's legit. He was awesome. The show was short lived. Did you watch any of that pitch? He was very good in that. The manager in the baseball. Show. No, he was the catcher. The, the catcher. Veteran sorry, the baseball catcher. Show, yeah. I thought that was gonna get a second. Season. Nobody watched it. Was it. Good. That TNT show was a hit, wasn't it? Oh, Frank with, uh, Bash, yeah, KFC it was like three, three, while, three four yeah. seasons right? with Breck and Meyer. Yeah. Yeah, he's had a good run. Like, I think oddly. he can get into now like an aging. He's an old guy now. Dad, like yeah, he can he can find that soft spot or uh, like that wheelhouse. I don't know. Maybe I'll just write that. I'll start write the script. Him and Julia Stiles, and just give them both Oscars. Why don't you get him on your on your pod? Get Mark. Yeah, go on. Get him on. Talk to you about the bell with him. Yeah, I don't think he like loves. They got him to do a rewatch. This is a good idea. I probably should have done it. They did. He's rewatching the whole series. Yeah, I saw that for the first well, time. He played like some girl who sucks. He's like playing him. Oh, he's though. doing one of those podcasts. Yeah, yeah everyone, uh, everyone, those. everyone does one yeah, of those. Yeah, the Laguna Beach one is great. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, but it's Kristen. Yeah. Okay. Who gives a fuck? fuck. Who cares? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Stay focused. All right. Stephen Coletti washed up fucking One Tree Hill. What? <laughs> That's true. What? What are you talking about? Stephen Coletti ended up being on One Tree Hill. Know. Who's that? The Steven guy. He was banging the both of them. Which I don't, I don't like because I don't like knowing about? reality stars. Laguna Beach. Actors. I don't even know what that is. So Laguna that? Beach was a good show. And the Hills <laughs> what is was it? fucking wild. It was a reality show on MTV. It was, it was like the first one with no cameras and cut yeah. away. It was basically like shaped the way the Kardashians were set up. Oh, gotcha. Boys. It was like the big, the big monster for MTV before Jersey Shore. There's a girl you would love in the Hills. Kelly Catrone, fashion woman. Why would I love her? Because... Stephanie Pratt, who's a fucking skell. That's Heidi, right? Is that Heidi Pratt? Am I making it? Stephanie, up? no, Spencer's uh, Kelly, I'm sister up right now. Kelly, comes in, and Lauren is like, there's a problem with Stephanie fucking up, and Stephanie's like, uh, she fucks up, and Lauren has to like basically answer for her, and she's like, what happened yesterday with the with the shoot, like with this whatever? And she's like, where was Stephanie? Is her? Yes, legend. 
And she, and she goes to Lauren. Lauren's like, well, Stephanie was on a lunch break. She goes, lunch break? I haven't taken a lunch break in 15 years. Fuck that. Like, she just <laughs> cut from a different cloth, dude. It's Jesus. unbelievable. She's the best. She tells people to wear all black. Like, don't have your tits hanging out. She's telling people this, like, straight up. She's a legend. People are tweeting me, calling. I'm not happy the show's not up on YouTube. On YouTube? Yeah. Do you think, did you see a skit set up for today's show? I mean, uh, there's I no care. way that was fucking I happening. I don't care. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. to me. All right, so we have the match at 1, right? Is that right? I think it's one thirty. pictures at one ten. Okay, pictures at one ten. Oh, there's right. pictures? Yeah, yeah we, do that. we do that every year. And then I think, well, I'll just say, if we win, our match is tomorrow morning at, like, 10 o'clock, I think. So I think I'll probably be against Frank's team, if we win, but we can't worry about that. Yeah. I don't know anything about I – know, I know none of these guys on this team. So. I don't think it's a guarantee Frank gets out as good as they are. Who are they playing? Uh, I don't know. They're playing XYZ, Nobody, not, I think. Yeah, XYZ. Was spoilers. Large. Knows a lot. Oh, they could lose. Jake's a robot, and Vibs is, like, weirdly good at – They beat us last year. Yeah, exactly. And they're good. How are they always a fucking, like, 12, 13 seed? I don't know. They're good. They're as good yeah. as anybody. Yeah. I'll be rooting for them then. I hate Frank. Uh, all right. Uh, anything else, Dave? No. Nope, so we're good. back Wednesday. Yep. In Boston with Mike. Correct. And then Friday. All right. Anything else show related? We. I can't believe about? you did the show with that guy sneakers. When I found out that like backstory. Got to do it, man. Crazy. Can't you? You got to have conversations with these people. You know. We invite all of them on there. Only give him credit. He showed up. Yeah. Nobody else did. And yeah. he still goes to all your live shows. Like he still is obsessed. This is the show all day. These guys listen to the show all day. Listen right now. What, uh, anything else show we later? I don't no. think anything show we We have no, no. controversy right now, no Nothing. issues, everything's smooth. Clean. Yep. When is, uh, what's his face? Who was the guy I was making fun of? Al Mayo? Jared Mayo? What was that guy? Oh, wait, is Mayo coming back anytime soon? Uh, what's his name? He'll Derek come in Mayo? anytime you want. I know yeah. that. What's yeah. his name? Mayo. Mayo. Andy, Andy Mayo. Mayo. Andy Mayo. Andy Mayo. Yeah. That was yeah. rough, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that was rough. That was rough. Andy that was rough. Mayo's boring. Uh, all right. Oh, we gonna do reads? Well, he's tall. Yeah, we can do it. Fans oh, are snoring. All right. Uh, uh, I thought I was gonna mention something else. I had in mind. I don't know how you guys come in here, but do you live in the city? I live in Hoboken, so it's, it's still tough. easy to get to. But yeah, it's tough. And you, how long is your commute? Forty minutes, forty-five. Shoot me walking around the city. Fucking shoot me in the it's head. Tough. It's bad. My fucking. That's why head. I don't live here? You must be it's dying. It's nice to get out. Do you know where you're gonna live or no? Wet in where, Chicago. Yeah. Do you know where or no? Yeah, I think. In the city, or no? I think it makes the most sense to just live as close to the office yeah. as possible. There, just since I don't know anything with a guy like him, because you're up to like two, three editing shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So if people were at the live show uh, and saw Dan's video uh, yes. about Justin, yep. Quigs is the guy who put it together. Fantastic. Did a fantastic. Are you, job are you familiar? Like, not even blowing him because he's here. Are you familiar with some of this stuff that they do with advisors and shit like that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's mind-boggling fucking idea what you're talking about <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure i can tell you that that, that you know how video, like when well you don't watch advisors so i know it's hard, but, but that, that knowing the watching the i saw the video he did with dan for the live show yeah, it was yeah, yeah. fucking yeah. unbelievable are you gonna have to are you gonna have to travel for advisors like are you gotta i'm gotta, not on advisors pick them yeah i think we are oh pick them you have to I go think to chicago wednesday. uh yeah every wednesday oh. it's better when it works in person i don't oh. mind that man i don't really you fly away. In and out of the day, yeah, it's difficult, but it's like, it is what it is. Travel's the worst, though. Ugh. Uh, JFK to, to O'Hare? See, I oh. like, I like oh. sleeping in fucking Oh, you can uh, sleep on a plane? No, I, a little bit, but I like sleeping in hotel beds. Really? Yeah. I just so. A hotel, to me, you need two, th three things. You need a comfortable bed, the AC has to be pounding, and the shower has to be hot and pounding. Yeah. That's it. Yep. That's it. Clean, but other than that, I don't. You could put me like Porno was bitching about the hotels we had in Phoenix. They're fantastic. Fucking, it was fantastic. Yeah. Can I ask Great. a question? Why don't hotels get a deal on cable boxes? Why do we have like there's no got like you look at the channel thing or like what, can, you can't flip quick. It feels like you go up and it says like right a fucking eye chart. It's the WZXY. It's very like, weird. Wait, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's some, hot some, some hotels have like eight hundred channels too. We were literally like, how, why? Why is it? The other thing I'm looking at is... Just get a cable... Like, think about... You're telling right. me that Spectrum wouldn't cut a deal and be Marriott like... Marriott or something? Yeah, yeah. Any... Like, or Verizon cut a deal and just give them the boxes? Well, I look at it I'm in the Marriott... Like, last time I was... Like, they had Netflix available, mm -hmm. but you had to log in yourself. Why does so, Marriott just cut a deal with Netflix? That when you're at the hotel, you just have Netflix. Yeah, that yeah. too. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or Amazon. like, think about how much is actually Hulu getting watched. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's just dumb. Like, they have an HBO Max deal, so I don't know why they have deal. It's just weird. Oh, you can watch anything on Some HBO places Max? I've been to, they, yeah, yeah, you they can do, do that. I don't really understand that. Yep. I don't know. All right, so you're okay going to Chicago once a week. Yeah. And you're going to move there, you think? 
There's a lot in play, but yeah, well, I mean, we'll figure it out. Could hurt our trivia team next year. What? It could hurt our trivia team next year. No, I'd still, I, I guess always not. kick up. Yeah. Still remote. Kick up. It's a good point. All right, boys. All right, go, go do what you got to do. We'll do yep. our reads. Thank you very much.